Yo! What's good, everybody? Hope everybody is having an awesome Wednesday, and I hope everybody is enjoying the brand new content we've gotten this week in my team. First things first, as you guys see in the title, we got a brand new card in the exchange, a brand new Dark Matter in the exchange, Dennis Johnson. I see a lot of people are a bit disappointed in this card, but hey, today we're streaming until we get him, regardless of how good he is. I saw some of you guys in the chat saying, wrong Dennis, we want Dennis Rodman, Dennis Schroeder, Dennis Smith Jr., but... We got Dennis Johnson, who still looks pretty good, even though he can't shoot the ball very well. So yeah, to get Dennis Johnson, we got to do the exact same thing that we've been doing for the past few weeks. We got to win 30 triple threat games, win 15 triple threat online games, and we could possibly get lucky and get one of these triple threat exchange cards out the vault, for example. I've gotten the triple threat card out of the vault for every single player this season, you know, Malik Seeley, Drew Holiday, Bob McAdoo. I've gotten the triple threat card out of the vault in less than like 20 games every time, but I've had to play every triple threat online game. I haven't gotten any of those online exchange cards, unfortunately, but you guys know I enjoy playing online, so it's not a huge deal. So yeah, we got a brand new Dennis Johnson in the exchange, and that's pretty much everything that we got today. So in this stream, we're going until we get this card, and since I didn't stream yesterday, I guess I could also talk about the other new content we got in my team. We got brand new Swish packs. And I'm pretty sure these packs have, yeah, Elijah One, Granger, Larry Johnson, Livingston, Bogut. We also got a new locker code yesterday with two more Swish players who you can find on the auction house. If you guys have not entered the locker code yet, it's in the description. I'm pretty sure it is Swish for code Bojan or Miles. I think that's the code, but even if that's not actually it, the correct code is in the description. And here are your options. Tokens, a Swish pack, a diamond shoe consumable pack, and of course, Miles Turner and Bogdanovich. So obviously we're going to go for the Dark Matter here. Obviously we're going to go for Miles. Are we going to get him? Yeah, definitely not. We're going to end up with a, with a diamond shoe thing, but not a big deal. Not a big deal. Miles Turner is pretty cheap on the auction house if any of you guys want him. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get things started. I feel like this stream will be around three hours, maybe four hours long if we don't get good luck. The triple threat online games shouldn't take over an hour, 30 minutes, which is not bad at all, but... Those 30 triple threat offline games, whew, they're going to be tedious. So hopefully I get the exchange card out of the vault before I actually have to play 30 games. Like I said earlier though, I've had some pretty good luck with that. I haven't had to play all 30 games yet for any of these exchanges. Sealy, McAdoo, any of those guys. So hopefully we get lucky in triple threat offline. And in triple threat online, let's just have some fun. We're using the exact same squad as usual, MB, Jefferson, Sabonis. We don't lose very much with this squad, so let's hop online, let's lock in, and let's have some fun, ladies and gentlemen. Let me finally start saying what's up to you guys in the chat. What's up, DJ? What's up, A. Owens? John17, Miles, Nathan, C. Tech. Hey, man, I'm glad I got to respond to your DM, C. Tech. What's up, Hawkeye? Ignacio, what's up Chase, what's up Snipe, let's play some defense, let's play some defense, we're right there, ah he's jumping, good shot Kareem, what's up Caesar? what's up Alexei Pokachevsky, Brett Downey, Hawkeye, good to see so many familiar faces in the stream, this should be a good one man, this should be a good one, gonna get a little sweat on and triple threat online, Gonna grind a little bit of offline too. Man, I've told you guys so many times that I'm trying to get to 1,750 wins in Triple Threat offline by the end of the season, but I'm not even close to that. And the reason why I'm not close is because I keep on getting that exchange card out of the vault before I even have the chance to play 30 games. These 30 games for McAdoo, I didn't play. The 30 games for Drew Holiday, didn't have to play those. And of course, the 30 games for 
yeah, pretty much every player. I haven't had to play all of them, so if we do have to play all 30 triple threat games today, offline games, I really wouldn't mind that. I seriously wouldn't be that upset if I have to play all 30 because I do have to catch up on those offline games. I did not want to shoot that. Whew. Nice little bailout right there. Hey, what's good, Clutch Nation? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I saw you got Mikhail from the wheel. You posted that on Twitter. I saw that. I didn't get Mikhail, sadly, but shout out to everybody you did. Tough. Tough shot. What's up, TJ Watt? What's up, Magnus? What's up, Jay-Z? What's up, Alden? Welcome to the stream, everybody. Good shot. Gotta green it, though. Hopefully, we don't start the stream off with an L, but if we do, it's okay. This guy's got a pretty good squad. Plus, this is my first game of the day, so warm-up time. Gotta get warmed up. If we could win the game, that'd be great, but always gotta get warmed up. Nice behind the back by bonus. He's off-balling. Let's see if I can get an easy layup versus Kareem. Wow. CPU Kareem's kind of going crazy. Nah, we should be fine, though. We, we need a stop or two on defense, but like I said, I think we'll be okay. I think we have the better team. Tough, tough, tough. Greek Freak said free fake clay. Yeah, free Big Dawes TV. I thought that was so funny what he did. He was able to get into the game. He was able to bypass admission and everything. Crazy. Magnus said, who do you think is going to win the finals? I stand by my original prediction. I've been saying Warriors in six since the series started. So, yeah, I got to stick with my regular prediction. Warriors in six. What's up, Zakar? Welcome to the stream. Alden said, Greek Freak. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a dough no. My boy Andrew says, I can finally stop playing TTO for the exchange card. I have enough guards. That is true. There are so many good guards in the game right now. Dennis Johnson, I wouldn't say he looks elite compared to the other elite guards we have in the game right now. I wouldn't say he looks amazing, but we're still going to go get him anyway. Try him out a little bit. I don't have to get his XP challenge done, so I'm not going to, you know, use him more than I have to, but we're still going to get him, we're going to use him, and yeah, maybe he'll be a useful card in the future, I don't know. I doubt it, but you never know. We're still going to get him, and it's still good content. Still gives me a reason to stream, a reason to play the game, and of course, Andrew, thank you so much for the dono. We might lose our first game of the stream. My offense has been really shaky. This guy has played some really, really good off-ball defense. This could be an L in our first game, but I'm not going to give up on it just yet. We still have time. We still have time to come back. We just have to get stops. If we lose our first game of the stream, so be it. We'll just learn from it and move on. If we lose, so be it. Nathan says, I like the vlogs. Thank you, Nathan. Jeremiah said, what's good? What's up, Jeremiah? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we've gotten nothing but twos this game. I've shot like one or two threes. Clearly, neither of them went in. So, see if I can get a stop. Nice hesitation. We're right there. Ah, oh, good... Good job just sitting there. What's up, DJ? What's up, Jason? Let's see if I can get a bucket here. Maybe a three. We could use a three. Yeah, three would be nice, but haven't made a single one this game. The threes have been off. That's a good one. Ah, it's off. 6%. Stream opening L. Let's see if we can bounce back next game. We need 15 wins. C-Tech said, who you got today, the Twins or the Mariners? I haven't really kept up with either team, honestly. I don't know which team is the better team. The only team I've been keeping up with lately is the Braves. I've been keeping up with them big. What's up, no regrets? Dallas said, good job just sitting there. It was a good job. He drove to the rim. I was anticipating the dunk, and he just sat there. I jumped, didn't get the block, and yeah, what happened happened. Can we win our next 15? Let's see. Usually we don't like starting off the stream with the L, but I don't care too much about that. 
Let's bounce back this game. First game of the day. Not a good start. See if I can cook this guy in the post with the bonus. Oh, wow. I got him in the air, too. We just got to get a few stops on defense and get our swag back. Good contest. What's up, Kovacs? Good closeout. Good passing. Welcome to the stream, though, Kovacs. What's up, John17? Why is there no Jamal Murray card? We got Jamal Murray last season, I thought, right? I thought we got Jamal Murray last season. Dark Matter. I could be wrong, though. Let's play some defense. Last game, our defense was awful. I was jumping when they were just sitting in the paint. I was leaving them open for jumpers. Yeah, our defense this stream, not very good so far. What's up, Triple Threat Channel? Welcome to the stream. Nathan said, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing great, man. Hope you're doing all right as well. Good defense. Guys just doing the same thing every time, so we should be okay. Kyle said, yeah, ah, I know, Kyle. First loss in the Clippers uniforms. What are we now in the Clippers uniforms? Like, I want to say we're like 10-1. and 1. We were 10-0 and 0 last stream, or was it 9-0? and 0? I can't remember, but yeah, our winning streak in the Clippers uniforms is over. I guess a new one begins. A new streak begins. It's the end of an era, but a new era begins. We're right there on the ball, playing solid defense in this game. Forcing a miss on that dunk. That's funny. There we go. Hey, what's up, AKW Basketball Boy? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Golden Justice, Hawkeye, Troyaholic? Welcome back to the stream, my man. Yeah, this guy's running in circles with Curry, so we should be fine in this game. I mean, the last guy was doing the same thing. It's just I wasn't guarding it well. Yeah, we're there, we're there. David said, who the hell's Dennis Johnson? He played in the 1980s with Bird, McHale, Parrish. Very good defensive point guard. Hey, what's up, X7Dub? What's up, Aldra? Welcome to the stream, both of y'all. Eclipse said, what is the most difficult Joel Embiid challenge? Probably no fouls. That no fouls one is so bad. I mean, the Invincibles or the Heroes versus the Sapphires... I got that game done first try. That game wasn't very hard, in my opinion, but it was the no fouls that took me like four tries. Took me a little over one hour to complete that challenge, unfortunately. Aravind said, thoughts on Invincible Embiid? He's really good. Nathan said, how many wins do you have? That was our first win of the stream right there. We started things off with a tough L, but that was a pretty good bounce back right there. Hey, what's up, Jacob? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Exotic? It's been a hot minute since I've been in here. How have you been? I've been doing great, Exotic, enjoying my summer, and I've been enjoying doing these streams here and there as well. Good to have you back in the stream, my man. Also, what's up, D? Stevenson, Bomba, Jefferson. That's a good squad. We've played against some pretty good squads this stream so far. Let's see if we can get another dub. Let's see if we can string some dubs together. That was a nice little slip to the rim by Bomba. Oh yeah. Let's get all the way to the rim. D said I played 200 games and never got that's a bonus. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me how some of you guys have played so many games but still haven't gotten a bonus yet. He's really good. I hope you guys are able to get him by the end of the season. What? That was such a good interception or should have been such a good interception. Good defense by M. Bizzle. Nice little baseline drive. Oh yeah, bonus. That's cheese. That's cheese. I was actually trying to pump fake and get him in the air for the layup, but then we got the open three. I seriously wasn't trying to do that. I hate when people do that, so I'm sorry I did that. Good closeout. I want to say that was Intimidator, but I could be wrong. Bonus! Let's go bonus. Splash said I played 1,358 games. No boner. 
Well, I hope you don't get a boner playing 2K. It's a bonus. I hope you guys get him, but my man said no boner. Kyle said boner for three. Yes, a bonus is a beast. It's about time I made a three with him because I think I missed a wide open one in the first game. I think I missed one last game too, if I remember correctly. Gotta get our shots to fall, man. Gotta run in transition, knock down our threes. That first game was rough, but we've bounced back ever since. Last game, easy quit. This game, we're off to a good start. Good defense. Let's run, run, run. Let's run in transition again. See if I can get that three with Rich and one. I love it. Nathan says I had to play 350 games to get the bonus. That's awful. 350? I played like 30. In fact, I don't even think it was 30. If I remember correctly, it was like 25 or it might have been 17. Whatever it was, it did not take very long. Greek Freak said, and one! I haven't said that in so long. That brings back memories. C-Tech said, 27. That's what I thought. Okay, so I knew there was a 7 in there. I knew it was either 17 or 27. It was 27. You're right. Yeah, John also said 27. Hey, what's up, Jack? My day's been great. Hope your day's been good too, Jack. Welcome to the stream, Jack. What's up, the white Kyrie? Shout out to Norway. Brady said, YouTube notifications have been killing me. Wait, did you not get a notification for this stream? That's so weird. Nah, for real though, YouTube notifications, they're weird like that. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. It makes no sense. Four dollars, but regardless, it's good to have you in the stream. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Let's get a stop. This guy's got Manute Bowl. But we're gonna clamp him with Sabonis, I swear. Hey, what's up, Alan? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Damon? Codeen said, Today, I remembered why opening 2K packs is a terrible idea. It is a terrible idea. Opening 2K packs? Wouldn't recommend it. Unless there are deluxe packs, I might a little bit recommend it. But nah, if every pack on the market is non-guaranteed, I definitely don't recommend it. Welcome to the stream, though, Codeen. Also, what's up, Lost Symbol? Good to have you guys back in the stream today. Hey, let's run, let's run, run, run. So bonus. Yeah, man. That first game we got rocked. That first game we lost by double digits. Our shots weren't falling. Our defense was bad, but we're starting to figure things out. Hopefully, I don't lose the rest of the stream. Desiree said, "Is this new dark matter worth it?" I mean, he's gonna be good. He's not a great shooter, though, and you can definitely get some better point guards on the auction house who aren't even Dark Matter. They can be Galaxy Opals, and they can probably shoot better than Dennis Johnson. I mean, there's no problem going for him, though, in my opinion. If you're going for Sabonis or Oubre, I think there's no problem going for Dennis Johnson, too. He's going to be all right, but yeah, not elite. I think I'd take, like, Lance Stevenson over him. Jack said, is the bonus still available in the vault? Yes. I'm pretty sure he is. He should be there until the end of the season, if I'm not mistaken. C-Tech says, I got Bull Bull from a locker code. That's crazy. That's a dub, but that's crazy. That's really good luck. Let's go. Let's get a stop. 12 to 8. This game's a little bit closer than it should be. What are my CPUs doing on defense? Good job. Speedy said, yo, Doc, what's good, Speedy? Welcome to the stream, my man. Ooh. Welcome to the stream, Speedy. Aldra said, what snipe filter should I use? The Timberwolves snipe filter is pretty good right now. Galaxy Opal, Lois was going crazy last night. I was also doing a little bit of dark matter sniping before the stream started. Good drive. Good job just sitting there. Parker said I'm back. What's good, Parker? Welcome back. Good contest. Bad shot. Gotta get that rebound. What's up, Valor? Welcome to the stream. 
I'm new here. I'm Alden's friend. Do you know him? Yes, I do know him. I'm glad he thinks I'm cool. I want to agree. I'm glad he thinks I'm cool, though. Good shot, Sabonis! KDOT said, the doctor is live. Yes, he is. Yes, I am. Welcome back to the stream, KDOT. Good to have you back in the building. Let's run. Let's get a game winner. We bounce back after a tough loss to begin the stream. How did I miss that? That was pretty much open. We're still good. I mean, we still have a nine point lead, but what? We're right there. Nothing easy. Oh, I, all right. Now let's get the game winner. So bonus. Lights out this game. Absolutely lights out. Hey, what's up, Annette? Welcome to the stream. I can't stay long because I have basketball. That's okay. I appreciate you dropping by. Welcome to the stream, Annette. What's up, Randy? And what's up, Jesse James? Hey, Owen says, I pulled 342 Invincible Lucas. Spent 2.3 mil. Parker says, you're my dad. Can you get the milk? C-Tex said, Arvidas is also beyond 40. That's where I'm going to get him. That's a good idea, too. Yeah, if you guys actually get level 40 and then do those beyond 40 challenges, then you can get Arvidas Sabonis from beyond 40. I think the choices are Ubre, Sabonis, Dumars, and then it is Lamarcus Aldridge and Jamal Wilkes. Those are the five guys. Jesse said, is Dennis Johnson good? He's pretty good. Not the best point guard in the game, but still solid. Hamilton says, you're my favorite 2K YouTuber. Thank you so much, Hamilton. Man, there are so many good 2K YouTubers out there. Knowing I'm somebody's favorite means a lot to me. Jack said, you should try Tobias Harris Dark Matter. He's a demon for 30K. I've heard he's really good. Haven't tried him, but he's pretty cheap. So maybe one day I'll actually pick him up. Nathan says, I only have one hour to be here. One hour is better than not showing up at all. I appreciate you showing up. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. This guy's got Luka and Taco and KD. This guy's got a solid squad. We've played a lot of solid squads so far this stream. Yeah, we're there. I thought we were there at least. That's a deep two though. If we can get threes, we gonna be all right. High pick and roll. So bonus for three. He's been lights out these last couple games. Lights out. He's barely missed at all. Now, if we can play defense, we're going to be all right. We kind of have numbers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Magnus said, do you have any pets? I have two dogs, Magnus. I have two dogs. My older brother has a cat. I'm not much of a cat person, though. Alan said, did you watch Hustle? Yes. Amazing movie. I loved it. Hey, I love that too. We got a dono, ladies and gentlemen. Another one from my boy, C-Tech. C-Tech, thank you so much for the $1 dono. That's our second dono of the stream, if I'm not mistaken. And look at Troyaholic, Greek Freak, getting hype in the chat. Dallas, shout out to everybody who's spamming doves in the chat after that dono. I love it. I love it. C-Tech, thank you so much for the $1 nuke. Oh, yeah. See if I can swing that ball and get an open shot right here. Mmm, good defense. Solid defense. Wow. I thought I was there. I guess not. Hey, what's up, Delta Ray Studios? Welcome to the stream. Let's get right to the rim. Wow. Good spacing, guys. And Embiid, that should have been a three. It's all good, though. It is all good. This guy's not taking the best shots. He's taking a few open ones, but I feel like overall we're doing a pretty good job defending him. I don't know how he got so open right there. What's up, Richard? See if I can get another bucket here. Nice little behind the back. I don't want to shoot this. I don't want to shoot that. I don't want to shoot that either, but I guess we will. 
Weird spacing. Weird spacing. What's up, Dejan D1? Welcome to the stream. Should I run Dennis Johnson over Supernova James Harden and Hero D Wade? I've heard Hero D Wade's one of the best in the game, so I'm not sure if you should run Dennis Johnson over him. But over the other guy? Who's the other guy who said? James Harden? Maybe. I never see anybody using James Harden anymore. Alright, one stop, one stop. We're right there. I don't know how that was not contested. That was pretty good defense. I was right in his face. Wow, terrible animation. Terrible. Don't throw that. Come on, man. You know better than that. And this is going to be a three. So bonus is on fire. He hasn't missed in forever. Welcome to the stream, though, Rafa. I'm going to read your chat right after I play defense. See, I didn't say get a stop on defense. I said after I play defense. Welcome to the stream, though, Rafa. Hope you're having a good day. Greetings from Mexico. Yes, sir, Rafa. It's good to have you back in the stream again. And of course, big shout out to Mexico. Let me stop mashing. Let me actually go up. What's up, uncle? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Loken? Yes, you are back once again. You've been mad consistent in the streams lately. We're right there on Luca. Leaner. Ah, <sighs> that corner leaner has been killing me today. If we just get a bucket here, the winning streak continues, though. One shot here, and the streak goes on. Nice little drive-by, pass to Embiid. Ooh, I could have gotten a leaner right there. Good job cutting off the baseline. Great off-ball defense by Taco. See if I can go baseline and get a bucket. Ah, great off-ball, though. Sabonis! Shot clock violation. Oh, we might lose this game, man. We might. We haven't gotten many stops lately. We've gotten stops, but not any of them recently until now. Oh, come on, man. How are you going to leave him open for the win? Whew. It'd be like that sometimes. Trevor said, yo, Embiid is home. What's good, Trevor? Welcome to the stream. And congratulations on Embiid. Also, what's up, Jordan? And what's up, Uncle? Jordan says, I won at the buzzer in clutch time last night. That's a dub, man. Congrats. A buzzer beater. Yes, sir, Jamar. Yes, sir, Speed. Yes, sir, D. That was an ugly win, man. You know, we lost the first game of the stream. Then, in the next three games, we played such good defense. Our shots were falling very well. In that game, our defense wasn't that good. We got some key interceptions. We got some good contests, but like, man, it was just ugly. Those are the games you have to grind out sometimes. Those are the games you have to win. What's up, R7? What's up, Carlo? D said, how are you liking Anthony Edwards? I mean, he's good, but I don't like how slow his jump shot is. His spot-up jumper is kind of slow. His, you know, catch and shoot, snatch back. His leaner, though, is pretty good. He's pretty athletic. I wish he could play point guard, but he's still pretty good at shooting guard and small forward. Logan said, great win. Yes, sir, man. Big win. Much needed. Kat said, what's up, Doc? Is Invincible Ben Simmons worth it? I've heard he's better than his glitch card by far. Yeah, that Ben Simmons, I mean, 6'11 playing PG, really good. Really good. Definitely worth the pickup. Hey, what's good, Puff? Welcome to the stream, my brother. Richard said, I watched the Hustle movie. Anthony Edwards was a menace. Dude, Anthony Edwards, his acting was so good. He's really good at playing the villain. Man, Anthony Edwards, he was getting into Bo Cruz's head. Bo Cruz was, oh, he didn't get over Kermit Wilt's trash talk until the end of the movie. Nah, Anthony Edwards did a great job in Hustle. And of course, so did Wancho, so did Sandler. Great movie. Really good movie. One of the best basketball movies I've ever seen. Honestly, it's kind of like Happy Gilmore, except more serious. Because, of course, in Happy Gilmore, there's that coach who's played by Apollo Creed. And, of course, he sees Adam Sandler or Happy Gilmore and starts coaching him up. 
And then he ends up being a champion golfer. It reminds me a tiny bit of Happy Gilmore. A tiny bit. And of course, both of them are Adam Sandler movies. Shout out to Adam Sandler, man. Whoa. Good defense. Yeah, this guy's out. Kyle said Anthony Edwards probably wasn't acting. He was just being himself, talking trash, you know, knocking down threes, getting to the rim. He was really good in that movie. He probably didn't even have to act that much. He was just being himself. The role was made exactly for him, it seems like. Hey, what's up, Certified? Welcome to the stream. Speed Solving said, Bo Cruz, the cruise missile. The cruise missile. Logan said, how is Ben Simmons a point guard? I would have thought he would be a small forward. I mean, he's played point guard for years in the NBA. So I think that's why he's a point guard. And of course, he's also played some reps at power forward. So yeah, point guard, power forward. Yeah, Ben Simmons. Reginald says, I also watched Hustle last night. They were all great actors, facts. And I'm not lying when I say that really is one of my favorite basketball movies ever. I've seen some really good basketball movies, don't get me wrong. I mean, we talked about it last week. He Got Game, for example, Coach Carter, White Men Can't Jump. Like, of course, there's also classic movies that really aren't as good, but they're still classics like, you know, Space Jam, Semi-Pro. Good movies, but man, I gotta say, that Hustle movie, is definitely up there with the best of them. Magnus said, who's your favorite player? In my team or in real life? In my team, it's probably still Richard Jefferson. Yeah, it's gotta be Richard Jefferson, man. He's a beast, still a beast. We're right there. This guy's got Petrovic, Malik, Seeley, Sabonis. This guy's got a pretty good squad. That was a bad shot by me. He jumped, but I thought I'd be able to get that shot off. Great pass. Woo! Beautiful pass. Hey, what's up, Micah? Welcome to the stream. Also, what's up, TSM? Oh, stay at the three-point line's a bonus. Stay at that three-point line. Oh, man. We'll take the two. Welcome to the stream, though, Micah. And what's up, TSM? Video Gamer said, why are you wearing a Cavaliers jersey? This is not a jersey. This is a t-shirt from the 2018 Finals. I went to game four. Terrible game. I mean, come on. It was a blowout. Cleveland got swept. Yeah, not the most memorable game I've been to, but this is the t-shirt that was on the seats at game four of the 2018 Finals. I mean, game one of those Finals was great, but the next three, I mean... Game three was solid, but game two, blowout, and game four, blowout. I mean, the Cavaliers were just defeated after that game one loss. I feel like if the Cavaliers would have won game one, they could have possibly pushed the series to six, but now nah, the Warriors that year were just so good. Those Warriors were great. What's going on this game, man? What, what's going on? What is going on? Are we just getting clamped? I think we are. Whew. We'll take those. We need those, apparently. We can't get any easy buckets this game. Hey, what's up, Venus Jupiter? Welcome to the stream. Let's see if I can get a stop. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Such good defense. We're right there every time. We're both playing good defense. All right, let's go. Welcome to the stream, though, Venus. And what is up, Connor GC? Hey. Kobe said, is the bonus good? Yes. Hunter said, who else got Manute Bowl first try? I did. I got it done during the stream. And then I did it again in my tutorial video. We won by like 30. CPUs didn't even know what hit them. Let's go, Rich. Dallas said 2013 was the best finals to me. 2013 was good. 2013 was really good. But man, 2016, I feel like because of how that series ended up, I feel like a lot of people take 2016 because of those final three or four games. 
between the Warriors and the Cavs. But 2013 was back and forth. In 2013, of course, the Heat didn't have to come back down 3-1. It was just both teams trading blows every single game of the series. The Spurs won game one barely because Tony Parker had that insane um, shot clock cheese bank shot from mid-range. In game two, the Heat won easily. In game three, the Spurs killed the Heat, man. It was a blowout. It was a blowout because the Spurs, I think they set a record for threes in a finals game. Gary Neal was knocking down threes. Danny Green set the NBA record for threes in a series. He was going crazy. Of course, Kawhi was great. Tony Parker, Tim Duncan. Then in game four, the Heat bounced back. They tied the series 2-2. Very interesting game. And of course, in game five, Ginobili went insane. He was having a terrible series, but yeah, Ginobili had a huge game five to give the Spurs a 3-2 lead. And then of course, game six was epic in Miami. I mean, classic game. They're going back and forth, trading punches. Then the Spurs pulled away a little bit and they took a 10 point lead in the fourth quarter, but LeBron brought them back. LeBron brought them all the way back and then they were down five with 30 seconds left. Ray Allen made the classic shot. The Heat won in overtime. And then game seven was a, another bloodbath, man. Back and forth, just both teams trading punches. And then at the very end, you know, the Spurs were missing their threes and I think Tim Duncan missed a wide open layup or a point blank hook shot that would have tied the game. But then LeBron came down the court and knocked down the dagger. Just classic, man. Classic. Classic basketball. 2013, I think it's got to be the best finals, even though 2016 was great and the emotions that went into it were great. But the Warriors, they dominated three of the first four games. And then the Cavaliers, they won the next two. And then it was a bloodbath in game seven. Most games in those finals, the 2016 finals, they weren't super close, you know, nip and tuck back and forth games. So I think all because of 2013 being a bit closer in those opening stages, I got to go 2013 as the better series. Dejan said, is that new card worth the grind? I mean... I wouldn't say he's elite. I wouldn't say he's a top 10 point guard, but I mean, he's still going to be great defensively. Pretty fun to dribble with, drive to the rim with. I'm not sure how fast his jump shot is, but he only has like an 83 pointer, which isn't terrible. But for a dark matter at this stage of the game, especially a point guard, not great. I think I would take Lance Stevenson over him. I think I would. Hey, what's good, JJ? Welcome to the stream. Jordan says, what are you doing tonight? Once this stream's over, I gotta finish recording, you know, episode one of that new series I'm doing, Zero to a Million MT. That's the first episode I gotta finish up tonight. So I'm gonna finish that up, gonna go to the gym, and probably start editing that video too. And I'm gonna try to post it by Friday. I think a weekend upload would be a massive dub. Weekend videos, they always tend to do well. Whew. I've heard that Poku is really good, so this is going to be a tough game if he's shooting leaners like that the entire time. Oh, good ball movement, but good off-ball defense by this guy, too. He's doing a good job. Ugh. That Lance is nice. Yes, he is. Logan said was getting Joel hard or no. Not really. I mean... I think the challenges that are the most time consuming, it's gotta be those, you know, 30 games versus the East and the West. Those are time consuming, but not very hard. And then the challenger trials, not too bad either. Good pass. Wow. Give me that. Great steal. And this should be a two, I swear. He better not chase down block that. Hey, what's up, Minitron? Welcome to the stream. Nathan said, who's your favorite NBA team? The Knicks. Been a Knicks fan for years now. Gotta stay loyal. Great defense. We're right there. This guy's got a tall team, but we're playing some good defense so far. We're there. We're so there. We better get the rebound, though. Whew. Yeah, favorite team's the Knicks. Good shots, a bonus. 
Welcome to the stream though, Minitron and Michael. My boy Michael says I'm on level 33. Not bad at all, Michael. Keep up the grind. Keep on grinding that XP. Let's go, Sabonis. This guy's playing a little bit of a combo of on-ball and off-ball defense. I'm a little bit intrigued. Let's go baseline, see if I can get a layup. This should be a bucket for Embiid, man. Jefferson's no scrub, but come on. That's got to be a bucket for Embiid. Got to be. Please miss that. Ah, rebound. And that might be a three. We're there, we're there. Great job, guys. Good job, guys. Ah, last second got open. This is going to be another one of those tough games, man. The big O is so good. Yeah, Oscar Robertson, his Dark Matter is great. The one you get from the token market, really good. I agree. He's still my starting point guard. Kyle said, the Manute Bull challenges make me want to die. Man, don't think that way. I know the challenges are tough, but you're going to get through them. As I miss a dunk because of Manute Bull. Yeah, those Manute Bull challenges, or that Manute Bull challenge, you know, the one where you got to win that game with the Sapphires versus the Heroes, it's tough, but like, it's not impossible. You guys are going to get through it. Especially if you have those good zero gravity cards from last season. We're there, we're there. Good pass. Good shot. Whew. Tough to defend. Venus said, favorite player in 2K. Gotta go Richard Jefferson in real life. I gotta go Carmelo. Carmelo, D. Rose, Kobe. That's my top three because I began watching basketball in the early 2010s. Oh yeah. He gambled. He gambled for the steal. Nice curl by Jefferson. Open three. Hey, what's up, Alton? Welcome to the stream. Let's see if I can get this stop on defense. Oh, we couldn't. Now, I got you. I'll read your chat. Alton says, just made it through. Haven't been able to watch your streams. You know how the UK is. Hey, I understand, man. I appreciate you coming through this one, even if it's just for a minute or two. Welcome to the stream, Alton. Also, what's up, Ben? We're right there. Good defense. This streak must continue. We got to win this thing. Whoa, what a steal. That's going to be a three. He's no way he misses that. Wow. Manute Bowles got those long arms. That was a pretty open pass right there, but now nah, Manute's got those long arms. Let's shoot this, man. Let's go ahead and shoot that. No need to cheese around and get the three. Whew. I forgot Manute Bowles got that 30-foot wingspan. We're right there. No way. No way. Three-pointer for the win. Let's see. Nah, two-pointer. It's all good. We'll take it. Jay Lark says, can I get a hoo-yah? There you go. I don't want to do a premature hoo-yah. We haven't won yet. Let's see if I can get a stop right here, though. I'm cool with giving up a two, but I don't want to give up many more threes. I don't want to give up... Any more threes, actually. We're right there contesting the best we can. Like, come on. Of course he gets the rebound, but that's pretty good defense. Give me that! Whew! Come on, man. There we go. That's defense right there. That's defense. Alton said, what's the biggest dono you've ever gotten? The biggest singular dono? Probably $150. I've gotten like multiple $100 donos in a stream. Like I've gotten 100 like three times from different people, but yeah. I think the biggest singular dono, 150. Mood said, what's good CP? What's up, Mood? Welcome to the stream, my man. Hey, Tsunami Poppy. We already have him, but if we get him again, I'm not gonna be too upset. I wouldn't complain. D said, dub, yes sir D, 
the winning streak continues. We're playing versus some really solid squads, but uh, we've bounced back from that first game. That first game, very disappointing. Alton said, just no. I'm gonna break that dono record. You don't have to. Of course, I appreciate donos. I appreciate people who buy memberships, but you don't have to. The biggest singular dono in channel history was $150. And the most dollars donated in one stream is like 300 so man just know there's no need to attempt to break those records because they're just such crazy lofty records mood said any exchange cards yet sadly not yet but we've won our last seven in a row and that means we're now eight wins away from the triple threat online card CEO said, Mood farted. Mood, come on, man. You gotta let us know that so I can clear the room. No, I'm kidding. It smells great. Minitron said, Do you ever watch Troy Dan's brother's streams? I watch Troy Dan's streams, but not his brother. Oh, give me that. Kovac said, Is Invincible AD worth getting? I've heard he's not that great. I mean, I'm a big fan of Anthony Davis. But at the end of the day, I've heard he's not even a top 5 power forward. I'm not sure how true it is, because I haven't used him, but I've heard there are many better cards at his position in the game right now. Truly Green said, who do you have winning the finals? So my original prediction was Celtics in, no, no, Warriors in 6. I want to stick with that prediction. I'm going to go with Warriors in 6. But I also really, really, really want to see a Game 7. I mean, come on, man. Game 7, back in the Oracle. Tatum and Brown versus Curry. I guess Wiggins, too. Wiggins has been awesome this series. He's been the Warriors' second best player, for sure. I'd love to see a Game 7, but I would also love for my prediction to be right. Great shot. Great shot. Marcus said Warriors in six. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, that's been my prediction for the past two weeks. Warriors in six. But we'll see if it actually comes true. Game six tomorrow is going to be huge. I'm excited. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Good shot. FBI said, what's good, Doc? What's good, FBI? Welcome to the stream, my man. If we win this, that's eight dubs. Eight dubs down, seven to go for that triple threat online card. Whoa, my man's jumping everywhere on defense. CEO said game six Clay. I would love to see game six Clay make an appearance because he hasn't been amazing this series, Clay. I just want him to have one huge game. Last game, he got hot. He got hot for sure. But. In games 1 and 2, he was kind of off. In game 4, he wasn't great. He just hasn't shot the ball super well this series. So, I want to see Clay have one huge signature type game. Like, a 30-point game in game 6 would be great. Even though he was solid last game. And pretty clutch. He was pretty clutch. Oh, early? Come on, man. Wasn't even trying to shoot that. All right, all right. Let's, let's go ahead and end this thing right here. Or not. Let's take a step in and shoot a mid-range instead. Trey said, yo, Doc, what's good, Trey? From the BK, welcome to the stream. Kovac said, we need a Dark Matter Cade. We're going to get one eventually. I think if we get some type of NBA draft set, or, you know, some sort of Generation Next set like we've gotten the last two years, I think we could see a Clay Thompson. Not a Clay Thompson, a Cade Cunningham. Another Cade Cunningham. Jaden said, is Dennis Johnson worth grinding? I mean, it depends on who your point guards are, and if you really want to go into Triple Threat Online and sweat through all these games. I think he's good, definitely not top tier, but... At the same time, all you have to do to get him is play some triple threat. Not unlimited, not clutch time. 
triple threat just chill 3v3 games i think it's worth it even though he could be better hey what's up rolla mac welcome to the stream i finally got invincible joel i finished all the harder challenges last week but dreaded the other games that's the toughest part of all those challenges rolla mac it's just sitting through all those five minute quarter games Whew. those are the ones that are just tiring but i'm glad you made it through them and congratulations on Embiid. Venus says, what card do you want the most? Probably Invincible Luka. Yeah. If I had to pick one, Invincible Luka. C-Tex said, I swear, RJ Barrett has the best leaner in the game. If you're talking about Galaxy Opal RJ Barrett, I honestly couldn't agree more. That RJ Barrett is so fun. He's only a Galaxy Opal, but I don't care. He's so fun. His catch and shoot is so quick. He's quick off the dribble. He can drive to the rim. He's great defensively. He can play the two and the three. He has great height for the position. I think RJ Barrett's an elite, you know, shooting guard, small forward. Very underrated. All right, man. Let's lock in. Let's keep this winning streak going. We haven't lost in a long time. Give me that. Oh, come on. Terrible idea by me. Almost a terrible pass. TJ said, how's your day been? Really good. Really good day for me so far, man. Slept in. And then after I woke up, had a really good breakfast slash lunch. Got some recording done. Got some planning done for some more videos this week and weekend. It's been a good day so far, man. Even though I haven't done too much outside of all that stuff and streaming. And then, of course, after the stream, I'll be heading to the gym, getting some editing done, and putting some finishing touches on this video I'm posting on Friday. I can't remember the last time I posted a sniping video. Good shot. Rolla said, thanks, bro. He fits great on my squad. Dude, I think that he's just a perfect player. I mean, easy jump shot, great defense. He can guard you know, small forwards, shooting guards, because he's got 99 speed. He can post up anybody, and he can dribble pretty well for a big as well. Joel Embiid's awesome. 100% worth grinding for. Give me that. Oh, come on. We're out here getting out rebounded by Zion. Tough. TJ says, I have no patience to snipe. I feel that, and you know... I always tell you guys, even though sniping is the best way to make MT, it's just so tedious and time consuming and you can make a lot of MT by just playing the game too. And that's how I make most of my MT, by just playing the game. But sniping? I mean, it's great for content and so many people, they don't want to play the game. They don't want to play triple threat online or unlimited and they want to find out ways they can just make MT fast. And of course sniping is a good way to do that. So. I think the video is going to do very well, especially if you guys show up big in its early stages. I've gotten some crazy snipes. I've used some pretty good filters. That video could go a bit crazy and help the channel grow a little bit. And of course, it's the first of many. It's the first of a series I'm doing. Should be fun. Vid sniping is more exciting and not as boring. That's true. I, you know, I can kind of understand that. Now, some people say that bid sniping is not a real thing and that, you know, bid sniping is just getting a card for a little bit lower than its actual price. But nah, I mean, if you do consider bid sniping to be a real thing, it's definitely more fun. I mean, if you're sitting there trying to snipe Dark Matters or Galaxy Opals, you might not see, um, you might not see anything pop up for like, you know, 5-10 minutes at a time. Maybe even 20 or 25 minutes or 30 if it's a super dry filter, but yeah. I think sniping can be fun if you're into it and if you are doing something else while you're sniping. Kovac says we need invincible John Morant. We haven't gotten a new John Morant since like season 4 or 5. We could definitely use a new John Morant. I think you're the only YouTuber who plays 2K and doesn't rage. 
I mean, I know a lot of other guys who stay pretty calm while playing the game, but yeah, a lot of you guys always tell me that y'all see most people who play online rage, but nah. Always gotta maintain those chill vibes, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta maintain the chill vibes. After that first game, I could have been raging so hard. I could have gotten so mad after losing that one game, but I was like, you know what? It's the first game of the stream. Let's just calm down, ride the ship, you know, keep the vibes going, and just, you know, get warmed up so we can play more games and get more wins. And what do you know? We haven't lost since. We're on a good streak. I haven't played perfectly, but we're on a good streak. Gotta stay calm, and, you know, you don't want to be too quick to anger. You don't want to be too quick to losing your cool, so, yeah, stay calm. Play the game, have fun, and yeah. Hey, what's up, Jethro? Welcome to the stream. C Tech said raging is fun to watch. It's fun to watch, but yeah, not fun to do, for sure. 100%. Not fun to watch, or not fun to do, but pretty hilarious to watch. Gotta steal that, Rich. Gotta steal that. Hey, what's up, Jethro? Welcome to the stream. Also, what's up, my boy? May the 4th. Yes, sir. Go Knicks. Even though I'm wearing the Cavaliers shirt. Even though I'm wearing the Cavaliers shirt. I promise you guys I'm a Knicks fan. This is just from the finals I went to. It's a nice shirt, comfortable, so that's why I'm wearing it. I promise you guys I'm not a Cavs fan. Even though I am a huge fan of Darius Garland and Colin Sexton. Because Colin Sexton went to Alabama. And Isaac Okoro went to Auburn, so I'm a fan of him too, actually. Hey, what's up, Cal DKF? Welcome to the stream. Leader! Dude, you're so Look at Richard good. Jefferson, man. Trevor said these limited rewards better be invincibles. Trevor, I don't think they're going to be invincibles. I think they're going to be really good Dark Matters. I think next season it might be invincibles, but yeah, this season... I think it'll just be regular, old, limited wow, dark matters. Dejan said, should I badge out Oscar Robertson? Personally, unless I know I'm going to use a player a lot, I usually don't badge out reward players. I usually badge out players so that I can sell them back on the auction house and make some good MT. That's usually why I sell or, or why I badge out players. So if you're going to use Oscar a lot, go ahead. Kyle said, bro is so mad. You can hear him. Is he actually raging? Is he actually getting upset? Because I, I don't have my mic turned on, so I can't hear him. I can't hear him at all, unfortunately. Man, I wish I could hear what he's saying. He's down 19 to 6, though. He's shooting fadeaways with Kobe. Yeah, I don't know what he's getting mad about. I mean, come on, you're doing this to yourself with all these fadeaways. Jordan said, hi doc, taking a nap. What's up, Jordan? Welcome to the stream. Also, what's up, Reese? Reese said, what's up? How's the channel going? Channel's going pretty good. Channel's growing pretty well. The streams have been popping lately. We've been growing a lot. Hey, if there's anybody watching the stream who's not subscribed yet, help the channel grow a little bit more. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like on the stream. And yeah, talk to me in the chat if you haven't already. It's going to be a chill, fun stream today. What's up, Tyler Piper? What's up, Jake? Welcome back, you guys. Kyle said, he got super mad on your inbound steal. Hey, not only was it a beautiful inbound steal, Kyle, but we knocked down that fadeaway three. And what do you know, Kyle? We're back on a 10-game streak with the Clippers jerseys. That one loss earlier, I wouldn't say it was a fluke, but it was the first game of the stream, first game of the day. You know, my defense wasn't there. We've recovered since then, and the Clippers jerseys, they are working their magic again. Again, the magic's not lost. And I'm gonna go for more inbound steals, see if I can get some more open threes. Play some defense, though. That Gerald Wallace is really good, by the way. He's underrated. 
Give me that. Is this a leaner? Yes. Alexander said, yo, what's good, Alexander? Welcome to the stream. Also, what's up, Logan? I do not play Warzone. I used to. I used to, but not anymore. When I'm not streaming, I play MLB. Um, I actually have a Nintendo Switch. I play on that sometimes, but on my Xbox, I'll play, you know, MLB The Show, uh, Jedi Fallen Order. I've been playing that a lot lately, and I really enjoy playing GTA 5 in my free time whenever I get the chance. Just, you know, games where I can just sit back, chill, have fun. I can kind of turn my brain off, unless it's like, you know, a puzzle section in Fallen Order or something like that. Yeah, I like playing chill games in my free time, because in 2K, you're always sweating. You always gotta play so hard, you always gotta lock in and focus, because you wanna win, and your other guys you're playing against are gonna sweat. So yeah, personally, I don't like playing games in my free time where I have to sweat. Hey, what's good, Howard? Welcome to the stream. Alexander said, it's my birthday. Hey, that's huge. Happy birthday to you, Alexander. I really hope it's been a good one so far. How old are you now? No matter what, I hope you're enjoying your birthday, my man. And I'm glad that my stream is a part of your birthday. Also, did you guys see that dude's gamer tag? His gamer tag was, you're trash. Huh. But we just beat him like 17 to 2. That's hilarious. Trevor said Fall Guys is coming to Xbox on the 21st. That's a dub, but they're like a year or two late. Fall Guys should have come out like last year on the Xbox. Didn't it? Wait, didn't Fall Guys first come out in 2020? It took them a long time to get it on the Xbox, but I'll buy it. And I'll play it. I'll definitely play it. Maybe even stream it. That seems like a pretty fun game to stream. If not on this channel, maybe on my Twitch. That'd be hilarious, streaming Fall Guys. Alright, let's go, let's go. We're playing versus Invincible Tim Hardaway. Invincible Tim's a beast, but... I don't think he'll be able to guard Rich in the post. Alright, man, let's play some defense. That Tim Hardaway is good. You guys know it. You guys have seen my gameplay video. Y'all know that Tim Hardaway is not bad. If you know how to use him. Yeah, give me that. Trevor says they had to do legal stuff because of Xbox versus PlayStation and legal documents. That makes sense. That makes sense. I just wish we could have gotten Fall Guys sooner, but I'm not complaining. I will play it. I'll definitely play that. Alexander says I'm 14 now. That's a dub, man. Once again, happy birthday. And I'm glad my stream is a part of your birthday. Hey! Oh, come on. That is crazy. Wide open slam. Rejected. CEO said it's going to be free. That's good. If they're really going to make it free, that's a dub for sure. Harry said, how do you get him? How do you get Dennis Johnson? It's easy. All you have to do is win 15 games in Triple Threat online and 30 games in Triple Threat offline. Along the way, you might get the exchange card from the Triple Threat vault or the, the board. But yeah. You get them by just playing Triple Threat online and offline. Alright, let's get a stop on defense. Our defense this game hasn't been bad, but it can definitely be better. Definitely. Let's see if I can get a stop right here. Dub said, did the Triple Threat offline vault change? It did change, but all they did was add the new exchange card. The exchange card to get, um, what's his name? To get Dennis Johnson early. They threw that card in there, and that's pretty much it. They didn't add any new players, unfortunately. 
Blake says, I've been subscribed to you since 2K20. I appreciate that, man. That means you've been watching my channel for a long time. That's love. All right, man. If we can get another stop, that'd be great. Our defense this game hasn't been terrible, but this guy can move with Tim Hardaway. He's got two really good centers in there, Manute Bull and Taco. This game has not been easy, but we're doing our best. We're sticking with him on defense. We're right there. Ah, come on, man. Give me that. A little bit late, a little bit late. Dub said I'm still grinding for the fireball. That fireball is so nice. I don't think I have it yet either. It's a bit distracting, but it looks great. It reminds me of NBA Jam. Let's go. Let's play some defense. Tough, tough foul call. Venus said, when did you start playing 2K? My first 2K game was 2K20, no, 2K13. No, 2K12, 2K12. I was pretty new to basketball. I first started watching basketball in 2012. Very first game I watched was in the playoffs, Knicks and the Heat. Knock that down, Rich, oh, Rich. Come on, man, we needed that. We could lose this game now, man. Just a couple missed open shots, bad possessions. Whew, we could lose this thing if I'm not careful. If I'm careful, though, we can definitely win. But, yeah, let's be careful. That was a dangerous pass. Nice behind the back. He's clamping me up. We got to pass that ball. Got to. Good shot. One stop, man. One stop. He's moving with Tim Hardaway. We're playing good defense on him, contesting shots, but they've called a couple nicky knack fouls. Like, let's see if I can get a stop here. Big stop. Big stop. And this will be a three. Hey, what's up, Surprise Pikachu69? Welcome back to the stream. Cal said, how do you get the fireball? You gotta lock in a bunch of stuff. A bunch of basketballs, I'm pretty sure. Like a holiday basketballs and some other things, if I'm not mistaken. Blake said, I just followed you on Twitter. I appreciate that, Blake. Hey, you guys do what Blake did. Follow me on Twitter, if you haven't already. My name on there is CP the Doc 334 CP the Doc was taken. So yeah, CP the Doc 334 Let's go, let's go, go, go. Let's get that game winning three with Embiid. Ah, would have been nice, would have been nice. Either way, the streak continues, man. We have shaken off that tough start to the stream. Dub says, I follow you on Instagram. I appreciate that too. Shout out to everybody in the chat who follows me on, you know, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. You guys are real ones. Kyle says, I love the fireball, best basketball in the game. It's mostly just the ornaments for the fireball that are tough because they're all over 3,000. That's true. That's true. Getting the fireball can kind of suck because I'm pretty sure, yeah, you need all the ornaments. And I think the ornaments are here. Yeah. The only one I'm missing is the Bucks ornament ball, 1,600. You know what? Let's go ahead and get the Bucks ornament basketball. Because why not? It's the only one we're missing. Let's go ahead and lock in. Add it to collection. And lock in. Hey, what's up, Louie? Welcome to the stream. Also, what is up, my boy? Hi, ye! Hey, that's a big dono right there, ladies and gentlemen. My boy, Hi, ye, joins the stream and immediately drops $7. I love to see it. Hi, ye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the dono. I think that's our biggest dono of the stream so far. I appreciate you so much. I welcome you to the stream. And of course, I gotta thank you for that huge dono, my man. All right, we got the vintage basketball. Let's go to collection. And let's see what we get. All right. Look at that, we got the fireball now. 
Man, if I wouldn't have played against that guy who had the fireball, I wouldn't have locked in for the fireball. I would have completely forgotten about it. So I appreciate you guys bringing up the fireball. Now we got it. We're about to get that unicorn basketball too. Am I going to use them? Eh, I don't know. Personally, I think those reward basketballs can be a bit distracting. The unicorn ball is also a bit distracting, but I like how it leaves a trail, a rainbow trail behind it. These are good for my collector level, but I'm probably not going to use them that much. Either way, that's a dub. We got all the basketballs, and I think this achievement, catch the unicorn, hey, I'll take it. So we got a new achievement, and we also got something right here, Hall of Fame brick wall. Not bad, not bad. I think we need three more wins. Yeah, three more wins. And we're done playing Triple Threat Online. Blake said, you, Denver, and Herb are my top three for 2K YouTubers. I appreciate that, Blake. Tweaked MC said, get the unicorn. I did. We caught the unicorn, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, what's up, Wings of Wongs? Welcome to the stream. Alton says, you might as well dock. It's fire for a reason. Yes, sir. So now we got the fireball, we got the unicorn ball. Are those all the basketballs in the game? I'm pretty sure they are, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Flip said, who are you giving Hall of Fame brick wall? Probably Muggsy Bogues, whenever we get that invincible Muggsy Bogues. No, I'm kidding, I have no idea. I have no idea, because most big men in the game that we get on the that we get in packs they already have hall of fame brick wall so if we ever get some like really good player in packs who's missing brick wall i think i'll give it to them and try to make some profit but yeah as of right now i have no idea my man no idea all right good shot good shot hey what's up kishio welcome to the stream tyler said how do you make your mt you're gonna see in my next video, man. I'm super excited for this series, man. Greek Freak said, give it to Luca. I gotta get Luca first. Getting Luca's the first step. If I can actually get him, that would be a huge dub, giving him brick wall. Give me that. Right defense. And this should be a three for Embizzle. And one! Nathan said, hi, Doc. Hey, welcome back, Nathan. Also, what's up, Splash Central? He said, I'm so close to level 40. Hey, go get that level 40. You got this, man. Go get it. Wow, we're exchanging contested threes. Jerry Can said, yo, Doc, how are you? I'm doing great, Jerry Can. Hope you're doing all right as well. Good shot, good shot. We got 160 people in the stream. I hope all you guys are enjoying it so far. It's been a fun one, and we've definitely bounced back from that first game. Dallas said, we're in Minnesota now. Hey man, I think that's the first time I've said that this stream. We in Minnesota now. I put that in my last video. Nathan said, how many wins? How many wins do we have? We have... 12, I'm pretty sure. 12 in a row. Is Jamal Wilkes as good as the reward one? What are you talking about? Are you talking about Diamond Jamal Wilkes? Because I know there's a Dark Matter, but you said, is Jamal Wilkes good? Oh, you said, is he good? You didn't say, is he as good? I read that wrong. Yeah, Jamal Wilkes, he's good. He's, def he's definitely good. His jump shot's a bit weird, though. His jump shot's weird. And I read that message super weird. I thought it said, is Jamal Wilkes as good as the reward one? And I was like, there's only one. Well, two, technically. Yeah, Jamal's good. His jump shot's kind of weird, but overall, he's solid. Great defensively, good athlete. All around, great player. 
Venus said, who's going to be the lock-in for the hero cards? I think it's got to be Bill Russell. Bill Russell. All the heroes have championships, and Bill Russell, nobody has more championships than him. No player has more championships than him. Damon said, did you see the fake Clay Thompson? Man, of course I saw fake Clay Thompson. I've been a big fan of the fake Clay Thompson since like 2016, 2015. Big Dawes TV. Great YouTuber. Hilarious. Big Dawes TV is a legend for that. I can't believe he actually got banned from the Chase Center, but I understand why. Broyle said, Filet Thompson. Alton said it's going to be Wilt Chamberlain. I mean, Wilt Chamberlain's an all-time great for sure. But I think Wilt Chamberlain, he's going to get a Invincible and a Hero. And Bill Russell, I think he's going to get just the Invincible as the lock-in. And he's going to be like a power forward, small forward. Just a bold prediction. Very bold prediction. Because, of course, he should be a power forward center. Greek Freak said, are we really in Minnesota now? We in Minnesota now. Yes, we are. Jerry Can said, how is Sabonis doing for you? He's been going off today. Sabonis has been beasting and feasting today. Knocking down threes, blocking shots, getting to the rim, rebounding. Yeah, Sabonis has been a beast for me today. And the bonus is a big reason why we're on this winning streak. Now this guy's got a great squad. He's got Invincible Embiid. He's got Giannis and Kevin Durant. This is going to be a tough one, but we've been playing so well. This game goes to only to 21. Let's see if we can keep that winning streak going as the bonus gets the interception and we get an easy layup. Greek Freak said, when do you think we're going to start getting the GOAT cards? No idea, man. No idea. I feel like it'll be midway through the next season because next season's going to be the last big season. So I'm thinking next season. You know, at the midway point, we'll start seeing those GOATs. With about two, three weeks left in the season, I think it's GOAT time. That's right. GOAT time. Dallas said Doc secretly works for 2K and knows the future rewards. Hey, I don't know all of them. I definitely did not predict Anthony Edwards. I can't believe we got Anthony Edwards because we got a point guard last season, a point guard shooting guard, Josh Giddy, as level 40. The season before that, we got Ray Allen, who's also a shooting guard. I can't believe we got a shooting guard for three straight seasons. Oh, come on. We need that. That would have been a big shot. Now we're losing. Woo. Ag Swag said Clay Thompson got banned from the finals. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. More or less. <clears throat> C-Tech says, right now I'm going for level 40. I could care less about Dennis when I have Luka and Hero Curry. Yeah, those guys are good. Those guys will get the job done for you for sure. Dennis Johnson's not great, but he's a free dark matter. And if you want to grind for him, there's no problem with that. It's completely respectable because he is good. And all you got to do to get him is get some wins in triple threat online and offline. So if you go for him, respectable and understandable. I just don't like that he only has an 83 point shot. You would think that a point guard, a Dark Matter point guard, at this stage of the game would have, you know, a better three-point shot than that. Now, Dennis Johnson was never an elite three-point shooter, but still. Neither was Ben Simmons, and he's got a 99-3. Neither was Shaq. Of course, those guys are invincibles, but still. All right, let's do this. We need a bucket right here, right now. M. Bizzle. Big shot. Nathan said, how you get a lot of MT? Watch my next video. You're going to see me going crazy on those snipe filters. Great defense. Not for real though, sniping is the best way to make MT, I think. 
And if you want to play the game, I think Triple Threat Online is the best way to make MT. If you actually want to lock in and play. Let's go. This is a three. That's a three. Woo. So free. Hey, what's good, Felipe? Welcome to the stream. Noah says, I'm done with the manure bowl. You're done with the manure bowl challenge as in you beat it or you give up? Because I know a lot of guys who are saying they're done, but by that, they mean they're done as in they're giving up. They're saying screw it. Jake said, when's the next video with the snipes? My goal is to post it on Friday. That's my goal. I think it will be Friday. Monkey Swim said, yo, what's up, Monkey Swim? We have won 13 games in a row. If we win this one, that's 14. And then, of course, we'll be one win away from getting that Triple Threat Online exchange card. This guy's got a great squad, too. Let's see if I can get the job done right here. He's actually playing on ball defense. Surprisingly. Oh, yeah. Noah says I give up. Oh, Noah, don't give up. Don't give up, my man. What's up, I'm Greens. Welcome to the stream. JCL said, just got off summer camp and hopped in the stream. Yes, sir, JCL. It's good to have you back. Monkey Swim said, I got 20 games to go in triple threat offline. Hey, man, I hope you get that exchange card out the vault sometime before 30 games. Because Triple Threat Offline is so boring. I've gotten so lucky. Every single time I've grinded for the exchange card, Drew Holiday, Bob McAdoo, Malik Seeley, I've gotten the exchange card out of the vault. And it's taken less than 20 games every time. I think it's taken like 17, 15, and 10 games, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, guys, we need one more win. If I'm counting correctly. Yeah, one more dub. Hey, what's up, Clutch Nation? Welcome back. Alton said, Triple Threat Offline puts me in a deep depression. Man, Triple Threat Offline, the games are just such, such easy wins. But like, they're so boring. Triple Threat Online's actually fun. We're on a nice little 14 game streak. That first game started off, you know, we, we got killed that first game, but I told you guys we'd warm up, we'd bounce back. And the reason why I like Triple Threat Online more than offline is because at least you're playing versus real people. Playing online is fun, but doing the same thing over and over again offline, not a big fan. It gets very redundant, very boring, very fast. Blake says, I did no fouls and Manute Bowl first try. See, Manute Bowl first try, I don't think's that unbelievable. But no fouls first try, whew, that takes a lot of luck. Because your CPUs can just randomly foul whenever. I'm glad you got them done first try, both of them, but whew, man. It's tough getting no fouls done so easily, or so fast. My boy Clutch said... Loving the LaMelo card. I want a better T-Mac. That's not an Invincible. You never know. I mean, we've gotten some good T-Macs late game in the past who aren't Invincibles. I remember last year we got a really good enshrined T-Mac towards the end of the year. Like, we had the Dark Matter options for T-Mac, of course. We also had a good Pink Diamond T-Mac and a good Opal. Like, maybe we'll also see a Galaxy Opal Luka at some point later in the year, too. That's better than the dynamic one, but not as good as the Invincible. I'd love to see a new T-Mac. That's not the Invincible. Monkey Swim says, I got McAdoo today. That's a dub, man. Congrats. You beat the buzzer on that one because today was the very last day to get McAdoo. So you barely beat the buzzer, but I'm glad you did because McAdoo's not bad. McAdoo's actually pretty nice. I wouldn't say he's a top 5 power forward, but I'll give him top 10. Michael said, what's up CP? What's good, Michael? Welcome to the stream, my man. Alright. This man, is he even playing defense anymore? 
He's just jumping around, reaching in. Hey, man. One more bucket. One more bucketo. And that's fit. How'd he make that? In my face. Yeah, one more bucketo. And that's 15 in a row. Good shot, good shot. All right. We're done playing Triple Threat Online for now, but now it's time to hop on the offline grind. So fun. I can't believe he made that shot. Still can't believe it. Noah said, I just threw my controller through the wall. Don't do that, Noah. Don't do it. I know that Manute Bowl game can be frustrating, but whew, no need to break your controller. No need to break your wall. Stay calm. Right the ship. Like I said earlier, I could have gotten pretty pissed after my first game, but I stayed calm and kept on grinding. Tyler said, what's your favorite 2K? My favorite 2K of all time is got to be 2K13. It's not the best 2K of all time, not even close, but it is my personal favorite because of all the memories involved. So many good memories. And so many good game modes that are not in 2K anymore right now. All right. We're halfway there, pretty much. Let's go ahead and redeem this card. And boom. JCL said, I think Invincible Simbular would be the best card in the game. I mean, you're not really wrong. Simbular is what? Seven foot five. He's an absolute beast in the paint. If you give him 99 speed and a really good jump shot, then yeah, Invincible Simbular probably would be the best card in the game. I mean, 99 ball handle, every shooting badge, every defensive badge, every dribbling playmaking badge. You're not wrong. Simbular Invincible would be insane. All right. So we're supposed to win 30 triple threat offline games. Hopefully we don't actually have to play all 30, but I've already gotten so lucky with these triple threat games. Last week we played like 10 games for Bob McAdoo. We played like 15 games for Malik Seeley, and we played like 17 for Drew Holiday. So we've gotten very, very lucky in the past. Super lucky. So hopefully we can get lucky again today, but are we really going to get lucky like four weeks in a row for these Dark Matters in the exchange? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. I'm staying optimistic. All right, let's get that chase down block. Let's get through this game as fast as we can. I'm just going to keep on snatching back and shooting with Richard Jefferson. Ag says, when you get those thoughts of breaking the game, those are just demons tempting you to destroy all your good stuff. That's facts, man. That's facts. Don't let those demons get to you. Those demons are always going to try to tempt you, going to try to bait you, frustrate you. That's the devil working, man. Don't let him do that. Don't let him do that to you. Don't let him get to you. There's a reason why I always keep my composure. Almost always. Almost always. Not gonna act like I'm perfect, because I'm not. Venus said, what was the best pack this 2K? Hmm, the Gamma packs were pretty good, but nah, I gotta go with the packs before these last packs. The ones that had LeBron and all those other Invincibles. I think it was LeBron, Kareem, T-Mac too? Those were great packs. Alton said Invincible Shea would be the best point guard in the game. I wouldn't mind a new Shea Gildas Alexander. I doubt he gets uh, Invincible, but I wouldn't mind it. Felipe said, unfazed, yeah, that's what they're called. Those unfazed packs, really, really good. And these past week's packs were also great. I mean, Dark Matters, like Jonathan Isaac. No, no, Jonathan Isaac was last week. This week was Mo Bamba, Bol Bol, and 
Thon Maker. So very good Dark Matters for very cheap. Really good Galaxy Opals too. Hey, what's up, Pascal? Welcome to the stream. Blake said three more games for Ingram. Yes, sir. Ingram is really good too. Not just RJ Barrett. I think that Opal RJ Barrett is better, but that Ingram's nice. Greek Freak said, Satan sometimes gets the best of us, but we prevail. That's facts, man. Like, there's nobody in the world who doesn't sin. I mean, everybody does it every day. Everybody does it. Hey, what's up, Nimble? Or is that... One second. Let's hit this three. Let me make sure I read that name correctly. Nim Diblemo. I probably pronounced that wrong. Welcome to the stream, my man. Daquan said, is it just me or is online really lagging right now? Um, it might just be you. The servers might be a little bit weird right now, but my online didn't lag a single bit. Actually, it lagged a tiny bit earlier, but it's been, you know, smooth for like 98% of the stream. Luke said, do you remember me? It's been a long time, but yes, I do. I remember you because of the last name. Welcome to the stream, Luke. And Pascal. Nimble says, you're very close. Hey, I did my best. It's good to have you in the stream regardless. Welcome to the stream, Nimb. Let's get a stop. Or not, or not. Venus said, who's your favorite Invincible? I mean, right now, I don't have very many Invincibles. The only ones I have are Embiid and um, Tim Hardaway. Actually, I also got Scottie Pippen the other day. I tried him out. He's actually pretty cool, too. Not great. Definitely not as good as LeBron, Giannis, and all those other guys. But I picked him up because he's not very expensive. And I had to use a little bit of the MT I got back from that pack opening. So, yeah, I got Scottie Pippen. And he's not bad. My favorite is still Joel Embiid, though. He's an absolute monster. Good shot. D said, hit the like and the sub button for the GOAT. Hey, you guys heard my boy D. You guys heard him. Make sure you drop a like on the stream for me if you haven't already. Talk to me in the chat. And if you're enjoying the stream, I would love it if you subscribed, if you haven't already. Hey, what's up, Trey? Welcome to the stream. Monkey says, rate my TTO squad. Saboner, McAdoo, and Luca. That's a pretty good squad. Personally, Monkey, I'm not a big fan of McAdoo, though. I don't love his jump shot. If you replaced McAdoo with Embiid... That squad would be insane. I mean, that squad's already really good. I give that a solid nine and a half because Luka's unstoppable, Sabonis is unstoppable, and McAdoo's great. So McAdoo is the reason why I give you like a 9.5 instead of a 10. He's still very good, but I think I would take and beat over him. You could also put in Jonathan Isaac or Thon Maker over him. I mean, Sabonis is 7'3", so as long as you throw in some guy who's like below 7'3", they can play the shooting guard for your team. Thon Maker, Bull Bull, like any of those guys. Mo Bamba even. Very good team. 9.75. 9.5 is a little bit low, so 9.75. Very good squad. Good shot. Great shot. Blake said, how long's the stream? Um, it's kind of hard to say because I'm streaming until I get, um, what's his name? Dennis Johnson. I might get Dennis Johnson in like three or four more games, but I might get him in like, you know, 26 more games. So it really depends on how lucky I get. It depends on if 2K actually gives me the vault card for Dennis Johnson. Assuming they don't, you know, assuming they don't give me the card, this stream will be like, I want to say a little less than two more hours long, which means this stream should be over three hours. Dejan said, 
You have to use the fireball. You know what? I'll use it next game. Next game, I'll use the fireball. We did get it earlier, so I guess there's no harm in actually using it. Let's win this game right here, and then we'll switch to the fireball. Hey, what's up, Josko? Welcome to the stream. Hello from Split, Croatia, the hometown of Kukoc and Dino Raja. Interesting. I didn't know that. Welcome to the stream, Yasko. And shout out to Croatia. IR said, is Anthony Edwards worth it? He's good. I'd say he's worth it. But I like Richard Jefferson better. I like Malik Seeley better. I like Lance Stevenson and Scottie Pippen better. I like Dark Matter Kuminga and Wiggins better. There's just so many players I prefer. So yeah. I mean... Anthony Edwards is good, but he's not going to get much burn for my squad. Alright guys, Fireball. Y'all asked for it, and I'm delivering. Fireball time. Jerry Can said, what's your opinion on LaMarcus Aldridge? Eh, he's kind of mid, in my opinion. He's not bad. I like his jumper, and he's not bad defensively, but he just doesn't feel super mobile. And I have power forwards and centers who can shoot the ball way faster. Alright guys, fireball time. That fireball is so distracting, but it does look really good. It looks pretty great. Great shot. Nimb said, are you on Xbox? Yes, I am. Venus said, do you only stream? I post videos too. I'm posting a video this weekend. Going from 0 to 1 million MT after spending all my MT on those packs last week. Hey. Great defense. Cal said, is the bonus worth it? Yes, he's so good. Jeremiah said, HTB said, he's great. Yes, sir. Good defense, man. Let's run. Blake said, who's the greatest Nick of all time? The greatest Nick ever. That's a tough one. I want to say Walt Fraser because he won two championships with the team. Of course, got his number retired. Of course, Patrick Ewing is great. He could very well be the best Nick ever, greatest Nick ever, but uh, no championships. He was one of the best centers of the 1990s, of course, the late 1980s. He was great. But, uh, Walt Fraser, two championships, great numbers. You know, he was great. I think I gotta go Fraser. If not Fraser, it is Patrick Ewing by a very, very slim margin. Allison said Willis Reed. Willis Reed was pretty good, too. Willis Reed was solid. I think he won the finals MVP in 73. He's pretty good. I think I'd take Ewing over him, though. Hey, what's up, Jacob? Welcome to the stream. Solomon said that Randall's the best Nick ever. I like Randall, but I would also kind of like for him to get traded and let RJ Barrett be the main guy on the squad this year. Hey. GG. Our first win with the fireball. Jacob says, I see you in the Cavaliers shirt. Yes, sir. I'm not a Cavaliers fan, but I got this shirt from the NBA Finals in 2018. It's a very comfy shirt. Alton said, Willis Reed stopped Wilt Chamberlain with a broken knee. I thought he played like five minutes in that game seven and sat out the rest of the game after hitting two mid-range jump shots. I didn't think he stopped Wilt with a broken knee. I thought he just missed a few games and then played game seven and played like four minutes and scored four points and then they won. I wouldn't call that stopping Wilt though. I mean, what do you call stopping Wilt? Holding him to like 30 points, 40 points? He averaged 51 season. Good shot. 
Blake said the Celtics kind of disappointed me. I mean, it's what I expected. I expected the Warriors to win game five and then win game six. My prediction from the very start, Warriors in six, but I would love to see a game seven. I would love to see Boston force a game seven. At the same time though, I would also love to be right about my prediction. Venus said, is Sabonis, no, is Arena's worth it? Eh, he's alright. Arena's isn't bad. I wouldn't say he's worth grinding for, though. Monkey Swim said, Taj Gibson's the best Nick ever. I like Taj Gibson, but yeah, best Nick ever. I would probably have to give that title to Mario Hazonja, Jarrett Jack, so many guys. Bargnani is tough. Hey, what's up, Joe Mar? Welcome to the stream. Damie said, is Dennis Johnson the new exchange reward? Yes, he is. Antonio says, I need the Warriors to end this tomorrow so we can get the finals card on Friday. I wonder if we will actually get the finals card on Friday if the Warriors win tomorrow. I'm curious. I wouldn't be surprised if they still do it like next Monday or next Tuesday instead, but... I would love for the 2K to drop that card on Friday, too. That'd be pretty great. I really got to catch up on those agendas because I don't think I've done a single one of those NBA Finals agendas. I'm kind of saving them for one stream. I might just do a big stream where I do all those agendas. Solomon says, I pulled Bo Cruz. Nice. Was it Invincible Bo Cruz? No, I'm kidding. I'd love to see a Hernan Gomez card, though, just because of that movie. I'd love to see a really good one. Hey, what's up, Nick? Welcome to the stream. Cal said, I'm in the play-in still. I know a lot of guys who are still in the play-in. I know a lot of guys who were so behind on those agendas. I was pretty far behind at first, too, but I'm pretty much all caught up. Those cards are worth it, man. Dark Matter Jimmy Butler, Dark Matter Wiggins. Who else? Dark Matter Kuminga. Of course, there's also Dark Matter Horford, Smart, Galaxy Opal Grant Williams. There's a lot of fun cards, man. Opal Kavon Looney, Dark Matter Trey Young. All those cards are great. Welcome to the stream, though, Nick. Let's knock down this leaner. And honestly, I'm enjoying the fireball. But let's change up the basketball we're using. Let's switch over to the unicorn ball because I've never used it. I mean, I've used it in games where the other guy had it, but I've never used it myself. Joe Mar says, I got Sabonis after 54 games in triple threat. That's really good. Sabonis is great, man. And 54 games is really not too much. It's really not too bad. Antonio says, I hope the card's actually worth it. A lot of people are doubting it, but I still got a little hope for it. Need it to be an invincible on the low. I think it will be an invincible Antonio. That's what I'm thinking. Now, obviously it's not going to be Steph Curry. I'm thinking it could be Andrew Wiggins. We could possibly see invincible Andrew Wiggins. Maybe they'll even give us more than one card. Maybe they'll give us Invincible Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum too. Probably Jason Tatum, but if it does end up being only one card, I'm thinking it's going to be Andrew Wiggins. Maybe Clay Thompson. Maybe Clay. But Clay hasn't had a super impressive game this series. Then again, Kuminga didn't have any big impressive games in the conference finals, but. He got a Dark Matter card, too. Alton said Moses Moody. What's he done in the finals? Native said Invincible Steve Kerr. That'd be a dub. Invincible Steve Kerr. Would he be very good? Probably not. I'd love to use him, though. That'd be funny. Invincible Steve Kerr. Antonio said triple threats easier when you use lower tier cards. Yeah, like whenever I play triple threat online, I use three dark matters, but 
in triple threat offline, if you use two gold players, you'll play versus two gold players. So that's why I like to use Richard Jefferson and two gold players. Makes it a lot easier. Jared said, I think it's going to be the finals MVP. You see, I want to say you're right, but Curry, I'm pretty sure he's going to win the finals MVP if the Warriors win. So if the Warriors win the series, then I think they got to give somebody else a invincible card. Unless they put invincible Steph Curry in that pack as the moment's reward. Like the one we already have. Then again, we don't know if it's going to be invincible or not. That's just pure speculation. It could be, you know, a Dark Matter Clay Thompson or a Dark Matter Wiggins, even though we already have one. It could be a Dark Matter Curry that's not as good as the Invincible. I don't know. I think it's going to be Invincible because we have so many Invincibles now. We're getting so many Invincible cards and packs. So it might not even be Invincible, but I hope it is. I would love that. Jared said Jordan Poole. He's got a Dark Matter already. Invincible Jordan Poole? I don't know. Damon said Goat Steph Curry. That'd be interesting. Nicholas said hello everyone. What's good? Nicholas. Welcome to the stream. Jomar said is my TTO team good? McAdoo, Wiggins, Sabonis. I give that a solid 9.5. That's a pretty good team. That's a pretty solid squad right there. Antonio said, what can 2K possibly give us this late in the year that's not a player or a coach? Yeah, like, it's inevitable. We're going to get a player or a coach in that moment's award pack, but I just don't think it's going to be Curry. Maybe Clay or Wiggins. Possibly Draymond, even though he hasn't had any huge games in the finals. Last game, he was all right. He wasn't bad last game. He fouled a lot, but hey, he officially has more points than fouls in the NBA Finals now, which is good. Native said Invincible Draymond. That'd be funny. I wouldn't mind it either. I wouldn't mind Invincible Draymond one bit. I think that'd be crazy. Venus said, Invincible Tatum. We're going to see Invincible Tatum eventually. I feel like if the Celtics win the finals, and he wins the finals MVP, then he'll be the Invincible. I mean, even if he doesn't, we will get Invincible Tatum eventually. I mean, he's one of the best players in the league, so it's going to happen. Good shot. Invincible point guard Draymond. Whew. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. I doubt he's going to be a point guard if we do get Invincible Draymond, but like I said, I wouldn't mind Invincible Draymond one bit. Good shot. B Diddy says, I want to know the limited options. Me too. We have no idea yet who those are going to be. Of course, last season it was Markel Fultz, Jamal Murray, John Stockton, Don Ohl. I wonder who it's going to be this season in My Team Limited. Because I've been grinding for all these um, limited rings, and we don't even know who the prize is going to be yet. Connor said, how many wins do you have left? Connor, I think 24. Unless we get the vault card right here. Sadly, no. Yeah, we have, I want to say, let's check. 23 games left in Triple Threat Offline. Hopefully, we don't have to play every single one of them, though. Also, Antonio, I promise you, I saw this message the first time. Let me replay it, though. Thank you so much for the sub. And welcome to Doc Nation, Antonio. Jomar says, if Golden State wins, it can be Clay, Wiggins, or Curry. 
if Boston wins, Jalen, Tatum, Horford, or Smart. That's true. That's true. I mean, both teams have had a lot of guys show up big and perform well. It's just Curry already has the Invincible. Wiggins just got a Dark Matter. Clay hasn't gotten a new, really good card in a long time. Of course, he got that lock-in card for the 2010s, NBA 75 set, but yeah, he hasn't gotten a new card in a minute, so I'm thinking Invincible Clay, possibly Draymond, but Clay and Wiggins might be the top two options for the Invincible, if it is an Invincible, because it might not be. It could just be a moment's Clay Thompson. So let's not get our hopes up too high for it being invincible. Because it might not be. Alton says if the Celtics win, it's gonna be Daniel Tice. That'd be crazy if we get a Daniel Tice invincible. Or a Dark Matter, for that matter. He hasn't done much this series except make a three-pointer in game one. Yeah, he made a big three-pointer from the corner in the second quarter. That's pretty much it, though. That's all Tice has done so far. Good defense, guys. Let's get a stop. And get the ball right back. It's all good. Hey, we got another don't know, ladies and gentlemen. From my boy, Native. Native, thank you so much for the dono. One dollar. That's our fourth dono of the stream, if I'm counting correctly. You guys have been showing mad love today. Shout out to my boy Native, dropping that one dollar nuke in the chat. Hey, what's good, Gabe? Welcome to the stream. I'm doing great, man. It's been a great day. It's been chill. The stream's been good. We've been going for almost two hours now. I can't complain. And I hope it's been a really good day for you so far, man. Monkey said, yo, Doc, was good? Sorry I'm late. Hey, you're not too late, Monkey. We still got a lot of games left to play, so... I'd say you arrived at a pretty good time. It's good to have you back. Let's play some defense. Let's get this win fast. This is gonna be 22 more games. Yeah, 22 more games once we get this game winner. Make him jump. Let's actually shoot a two-pointer. I never do that. I never shoot twos. Usually, it's only threes. My boy Gale says, I just went God mode. I went 15 and 0 for the first time ever in TTO. Gale, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's huge. That is huge. 15 wins, no losses. I'm proud of you. Earlier, we lost our first game of the stream, but we haven't lost since. We made those next 15 games look easy. Well, not really, but y'all know what I mean. Ag said, this is my first My Team stream. I hope you're enjoying it, Ags. I hope you're really enjoying it. Nah, man, there are so many good My Team streamers, content creators out there. I'm glad you stumbled upon my stream. Make sure you subscribe if you're enjoying it. You guys make sure to drop a like and everything as well to help this stream get out there and help the channel grow. Hey, what's good, Zinc? It has been a while. Welcome back to the stream, Zinc. Joe Mar said, imagine throwback champions of the winner. That would be nuts. Hey, man. If we actually do get, like, throwback cards for whichever team wins the championship, that would be pretty cool. I mean, let's speculate. Let's think about it for a second. You know, if the Celtics end up winning the title... Maybe 2K gives us like a Bird or a Bill Russell or something like that. If the Warriors win, maybe a Rick Barry. Of course, Wilt Chamberlain's also a possibility. You know, there's a Chris Mullen, Mitch Richmond, Run TMC. Just speculation. Of course, Baron Davis. There's a lot of options, man. I don't think we're actually going to get throwback cards for whoever wins the championship. 
But I think that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be very cool. It's just that so many of the best players for each franchise, they're already in the game. I mean, for the Celtics, we don't have Invincible Larry Bird yet, but that would be really cool if we got Invincible Bird. So there's Bird. There's Mikhail, but we just got a Dark Matter. You know, there's Dennis Johnson, but we just got a Dark Matter for him today. You know, Jalen Brown, we just got a Dark Matter for him. Tatum, I think he'll get an Invincible card eventually. Bill Russell, I think he might be the lock-in for the heroes. And then there's guys like, you know, Bob Cousy. I don't think it's going to be him. Havlicek would be cool. You know, Bailey Howell would be pretty dope too. And then there's also like Tom Heinsohn, RIP to him. Sam Jones, Casey Jones. I mean, Robert Parrish. There's like plenty of legends they could use for the Warriors and the Celtics, but I think it is going to end up being someone like, you know, Clay, for example, or Wiggins or Tatum if the Celtics win. Because that's still very possible. ZayYT said, how are you doing today, CP? I'm doing great. Zay, good to have you back in the stream. Also, what's up, Obey J Gang? And what's good, Sin City? Welcome back to the stream, my brother. Dylan says, love the content. How do you not get burnt out playing so much? Is it because of your community? Yeah, Dylan, the community's awesome. Also, I try to control how much I stream. Of course, sometimes I'll have stretches where I'll stream for like five, six days in a row. But I'll also make sure to, you know, do my own thing as well. You know, go outside, get exercise, get in the gym, you know, hang out with people outside of these YouTube streams. And, you know, at the end of the day, just try to, you know, balance things, have fun. So this is not the only thing I'm doing. And sometimes if I do have some stretches where I stream for like five, six days in a row, I'll try to take some time off to avoid burnout. Great shot. Hey, what's up, Green Shot? Welcome to the stream. Nick said Cedric Maxwell. Cedric Maxwell? I feel like people forget about him sometimes because he's not in the Hall of Fame. Fun fact, Cedric Maxwell is the only Finals MVP not to be in the Hall of Fame. I mean, really good player, really good career, but... Just not in the Hall of Fame. Great shot. What? It's all good. Iguodala. I'm not sure if he'll end up in the Hall of Fame either because I don't think Iguodala ever even made the All-Star game. But, of course, you know, really good player at his peak. Averaged over 20. You know, great dunker, great scorer. Excellent defender. But Iguodala, he might join... Cedric Maxwell in that group of finals MVPs not to make the Hall of Fame. He might. Damon said, we in Minnesota now. Yes, we are. Gotta say that at least once per stream. Good shot. Alton said, Bill Walton. Yeah, Bill Walton, I wouldn't say he's a Celtics legend though. He was really good with the Trailblazers, but with the Celtics, of course, he made contributions off the bench. He won a championship, but I mean, when Bill Walton was healthy with the Trailblazers, he was like one of the best centers of all time, if he could have kept up those numbers and actually stayed healthy. I mean, in 1977, the Trailblazers won the championship, and then in 1978, the Trailblazers they had such a good record. I want to say they were like 40 and 9 or 40 and 10 or something like that. It might have been like 50 and 10. Like they were number one in their division. They were number one in their conference. And they were on pace to go back to back. But then Bill Walton suffered a season ending injury. And I think the Washington Bullets won the championship that year. I think the Bullets won in 78. Then the Supersonics won in 79. And then, of course, the Lakers won in 1980. I could be wrong. It might be the Bullets in 79 and the Sonics in 78. You guys let me know if I'm wrong, but I think I got it right the first time. Sin City said, how's this new exchange, Dennis Johnson? Sin City, I've heard he's a bit mid. I mean... 
He's going to be excellent defensively, but he's not very tall. He has great handles, but once again, not very tall. Um, he only has like an 83 point shot, which is not great. I mean, he could be better. Native said Sonics 79. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, 78 was Washington with Wes Unseld and the boys. Then 79 was the Sonics. Arahan says, I am late. You are a little bit late, but we still have a lot more games left to win, so you're really not that late. There's still a lot of game left to play. Josh Smoove said, what's going on, CP the Doc? What's up, Smoove? Welcome back to the stream, my man. Alton said, the Trailblazers are so underrated as an all-time team. They kind of are, man. I mean, whenever people think about the most successful franchises ever, obviously number one and two are the Celtics and the Lakers. I think right behind them is the Spurs. And then right behind the Spurs, you got the Miami Heat. No, 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 no. You got the Bulls up there, too. I forgot about the Bulls. The Bulls are probably... I gotta give the Bulls number four, because the Spurs... I mean, they were so consistent for a long period. The Bulls, of course, they had an amazing stretch in the 90s. They were so good in the late 80s, obviously, the mid and late 80s. But the Spurs, they were solid throughout the entire 90s. They were excellent for the entire 2000s. They won three championships in the 2000s made the playoffs as a high seed multiple times in the, of course, the 1990s. And in the 2010s, they won a championship, they made it to a finals, made the playoffs multiple times, and could have made it to the finals in 2017 if Kawhi wouldn't have gotten hurt, even though I think the Warriors still would have won that series. Yeah, I think the Warriors still would have won, but the Spurs, I mean, just excellency over three consecutive decades. The Bulls, I mean, very good in the 90s, of course. Really solid for the late 80s, even though they never made it to a championship in the 80s. During the 2000s, eh, rough stretch for the Bulls. And then in the 2010s, pretty good. I mean, in 2011, the Bulls made it. Wait, I'm trying to think. I think in 2010, the Bulls pushed the Celtics to seven. In 2011, they went to the conference finals. In 2012, they were the number one seed, but they lost in round one because Derrick Rose, Joakim Noah, all those guys got hurt. In 2013, they lost in the second round versus the Heat. In 2014, they lost in the first round versus the Wizards, I think. 2015, they lost in the second round versus the Cavs. In 2016, I think they lost in the first round to the Celtics. I think it was 2016 where the Bulls were the number 8 seed. I'm pretty sure, but I could be wrong. But yeah, the Bulls, I gotta put them right below the Spurs. The Bulls are a top 5 franchise for sure, but yeah, I got the Spurs at 3. I got the Bulls at 4. And I got the Heat and the Warriors at 5 and 6. Hey, what's up, Double J? Welcome to the stream. What's up, I sold out. Who's better, Hero, Hakeem, or Dark Matter, Sabonis? I gotta go Sabonis. Invincible Hakeem is insane, but I gotta take Sabonis over Hero, Hakeem. Let's shoot that. Obey J Gang said, thank you. I'm a Bulls fan, yes sir. I mean, the Bulls have a great franchise history. Very good history. And of course, the 90s, you don't see many teams have better decades than that. I mean, 91 champions, 92 champions, 93 champions, 96, 97, 98 champions. Who knows? If Michael Jordan would have never retired, the Bulls could have possibly won in, you know, 94 and 95. But the Rockets were always a tough matchup for the Bulls because the Bulls just, they never had an insanely good center in the 90s at least. I mean, Bill Cartwright was their starting center for a while. Luke Longley. Of course, off the bench, they had guys like, I'm trying to remember their names. I'm trying to remember the names. But yeah, 
They never had like an elite all-star level like center who could match up with Shaq or Elijah One, even though Horace Grant was solid for a while. He played the four mostly, if I'm not mistaken. Ag Swag says, I don't have 22, I'm on 21. I know a lot of guys who still play 2K21 as well. It is not just you. Alton says, can't forget about the Sacramento Kings and the Wizards. And the Kings, I mean, people forget about the Kings all the time. They haven't been to the playoffs in almost two decades now, which is crazy. Good shot, good shot. I sold out, said Bill Wennington off the bench. That's right, and Will Perdue. Will Perdue and Bill Wennington. When you said Wennington, you immediately made me remember. 9, 12 years old during the second three-peat for the Bulls. That is a dub, man. I wasn't even alive during that second three-peat. I wish I could have watched those Bulls teams, man. Native said the Queens. That's what Shaq calls them, the Queens. Fad said, what's up, Doc? Thoughts on my lineup? Dark Matter Holiday, Siakam, Butler, Bam, and Embiid. I like it. I like it. You got Embiid at center, who's one of the best centers in the game. Butler, I mean, he's one of the best free cards in the game. Great defense, great shooting, great scoring. And of course, Holiday's great. Even though he's not super tall, Holiday's really good. Siakam's a good budget shooting guard. And Bam Adebayo, great defensively. Pretty good team, Fad. Pretty good team. If you save up some more MT, though, maybe try to add some glitchy cards like Thon Maker, Jonathan Isaac. That's a pretty good squad, though, all things considered. Hey, what's up, V Stage? Welcome to the stream. C Tech said the Kings and the Mariners forever irrelevant you see i hate to say that c-tech but you're not exactly wrong the mariners oh i wish they could have won a championship man i mean they've just had so many great names in their franchise's history i mean randy griffey and of course right after griffey gets up and leaves town ichiro like the mariners have had some really good years it's just crazy to me that you know they couldn't win a championship with griffey randy and of course, Ichiro was an amazing talent. Man. Yeah, the Mariners, they could have won a championship. They had such a great opportunity in like the late 90s, if I'm not mistaken. And same thing in the early 2000s. But yeah, they just haven't, you know, been able to put it together. And the Kings, I mean, great opportunities. In the early 2000s, those Kings were really good. In 2002... A lot of people believe that those NBA conference finals were rigged so the Lakers could go to the finals. And the Kings, man, they were so good in 2002. That was their year to win the championship, but they just couldn't. Good shot. All Ripley said is game six tonight. Game six is tomorrow. Yeah, game six is a little bit over 24 hours from now. About 27 hours from now, if I'm not mistaken. B Diddy said, how did you not mention A-Rod either time? I meant to, I'm sorry. I knew I was forgetting somebody. I kind of forget about A-Rod. I shouldn't, but I kind of did. He was so young. He was very young. That was before he wanted to leave. And go to Texas, right? Yeah, A-Rod, he was Seattle, then Texas. And then he was a Yankee. I swear, man. Every star ends up on the Yankees at some point. I swear. B. Diddy said 96. 96. Yeah, man, those late 90s Seattle teams, they could have won it all. Obey J Gang says, can you read my last? Yes. If you can imagine if D Rose never injured Taj blocking crazy shots and staying healthy 
and Jimmy building up his career in 2010, the Bulls really could have been something, I think, if Rose would have never gotten hurt. But Rose getting hurt, <sighs> it just, it sucked. In 2013, obviously, he got hurt in game one, which led to them losing in the first round because they were so short-handed without him. And also, I want to say Joakim Noah and Boozer also got injured in that same series. So yeah, the Bulls just had such bad luck with injuries, not just Derrick Rose. And then in 2013, Rose didn't even play the entire season, I don't think. Yeah, Rose, I'm pretty sure he missed like the entire season. And yeah, that led to them still being okay. Like, they were still pretty good with Kirk Heinrich and Nate Robinson. They still had Deng Boozer and Joakim Noah. They also had Rip Hamilton, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Rip Hamilton was on those Bulls. They had a solid squad, but they just couldn't get over the heat in the second round. They won the first game in Miami, but then they lost game two by like 50. I remember that. Yeah, then in 2014, Derrick Rose came back. He played like... I want to say like 10 or 11 games. He was okay. But then he got injured again and missed the rest of the season again. The Bulls once again made the playoffs, but I think they lost to the Wizards that year. And the Wizards had Paul Pierce that year. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. The Wizards had Pierce in 2015. Yeah, 15. In 14, though, that Wizards team was solid. Jay Gang says, as a Bulls fan, we can't stay healthy. Like Joakim Noah being injured, Andy Rose. Yeah, Lonzo was also injured this year. With Lonzo healthy, the Bulls were a number one seed for the majority of the season. Lonzo goes down and they lose that shooting, floor spacing, defense. Lonzo was a big piece of the Bulls this past year for sure. B. Diddy said the Bulls also got screwed. With Jay Williams getting hurt in like 03, man, Jay Williams really is one of the biggest what ifs ever. I mean, he was a number two draft pick, right? And he just barely even played. Of, of course, I'm glad he survived his accident, but I just hate that he could never play again. All right. Let's give our boys some contracts and let's keep on grinding. Ag says, I'm using Noah right now. Noah's aggression is still there, but you can tell life hit him where it hurt. Hey man, it'd be like that sometimes. Joakim Noah, solid career, man. He even got MVP votes in the 2014 season. Alton said, same thing with Len Bias. Yeah, for sure, Len Bias was a huge what if. I mean, he was easily the best player in his draft and the Celtics had just won the championship. So if Len Bias, oh man, I hate that he could never play. R.I.P. to him, of course. R.I.P. to him. But yeah, man, what ifs in NBA history, you know, guys dying, it's just sad. Sad to talk about. Jeremiah said, the Bulls are cursed with injuries when they're good. It'd be like that sometimes, man. The Bulls, I wouldn't say they're cursed, man, but... Of course, they haven't been to the finals since 98, but they've had some solid teams and they've given their fans something to, you know, celebrate and get happy about year in and year out. B. Diddy says he would have been number one, but that was Yao Ming. And then Dunleavy three. Can't believe he sucked too. Hey, Dunleavy, I almost forgot he went number three. I mean, always a great three-point shooter. But just never, you know, the same scorer on all three levels that he was in college. He built a career as a pretty good shooter, but that was pretty much it. That was pretty much it. Haley said, what time is it for you? It is 4.45 p.m., Haley. What time is it for you? You live in Australia, so I'm going to guess it is... 7 a.m. 7.45 a.m. That's my guess. Good shot. 
Alton said Sam Bowie. Sam Bowie, yeah, I mean, he's another guy who, he catches a lot of flack for being drafted over Michael Jordan. But, I mean, big men were a very popular piece to select in the draft back then. I mean, Hakeem Olajuwon went number one. But nobody complains about that because he's one of the best centers ever. He won two championships, MVPs. He's one of the best shot blockers ever. One of the most skilled centers ever. So yeah, Elijah won number one. People didn't complain about that. But Bowie number two, he was just so injured. Haley said, it is 745. Man, look at me. I know my time zones well. I actually don't. I know the Australian time zones well, and I know in Malaysia it is 5.45 a.m. I'm half Malaysian, so I gotta know. Hey, what's up, the creationist? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Ashmel? Just stopping by before my show. Hey, I appreciate you, Ashmel. You see the title, so you know what's going on. We're just back on that grind, adding another dark matter to the squad. It's good to have you back in the building. Alex said, what's up, Doc? This is my first stream since season four. Whew. It's been a minute then, but it's good to have you back. Welcome back to the stream, my boy, Alex. Good shot. Blake said, what if LeBron and Kobe were in the finals? It sucks that we never got to see that matchup. I mean, that should have been 2009, maybe even 2010. In 2009, I mean, Kevin Garnett got injured. It probably would have been Celtics versus Lakers again in 2009 if KG didn't get hurt. But yeah, KG got hurt in the second round, had to miss that series versus Orlando. And then it was Orlando versus Cleveland. Cleveland, I thought they should have won that series. I mean, game one was super close. Game one, very close versus the Magic. Rashard Lewis hit a game winner. I mean, the Cavs and Magic were just trading tough shots in that final minute or two. And then, of course, in game two, LeBron hit the buzzer beater. The Magic won game three and four. The Cavs won game five. And then the Magic closed it out in six. Of course, the Cavaliers were far from a super team, but it would have been nice seeing Kobe and LeBron at least in 2009. And then, of course, in 2010... The Cavaliers had the number one seed, but the Celtics were just too much. Yeah, Ashmel, I mean, the Magic, they were on fire from three that series. And it's understandable. I mean, they took Dwight Howard, who was one of the most dominant centers of the era. Probably the most dominant center of the 2010s, aside from, you know, Shaq in the early 2000s, playing for the Lakers, of course. Dwight Howard was dominant. They took him... They put him in the post, and they surrounded him with, you know, Jameer Nelson who could shoot, J.J. Redick who could shoot, Turkoglu. I mean, they had a lot of good shooters. Rashard Lewis as well. I'm pretty sure they also had Courtney Lee one year. Man, the Magic had some talent. They also had Ray Alston one year, and Vince Carter. I mean, they surrounded Dwight Howard with some decent talent, guys who could shoot, guys who he could you know, kick out to if they double team the post. And yeah, they were knocking down their shots for sure. Hey, what's up, Steven Pim? Welcome to the stream. Jay-Z said, how goes the grind? So far, so good. So far, not too bad. Hopefully, we don't have to play all 30 triple threat offline games, but I'm not going to complain if we do have to. Nicholas says, I think the Heat and Celtics deserve the finals this year the most. I mean, of course, only one of them can make it because both of them play in the East. The Heat, it would have been nice to see them go to the finals, but the Celtics, I gotta say, they deserved it a lot because they were so bad earlier in the year. Their defense was so bad earlier in the season, but then they pulled it together. They became an absolute unit on defense. All of them started playing together, which was great. Great to see that team just get better and better as the year went on. And I think this year's Celtics just go to show that you should never give up on your favorite team 
at any point of the season because the Celtics, they were like 17 and 21. They were allowing like 130 points to the Knicks and teams like that. They were blowing double digit leads and getting killed in fourth quarters. But then they became one of the most clutch teams in the league. You know, playing great defense in the fourth quarter, knocking down threes, winning close games, not blowing it in the fourth quarter. The Celtics, man, they improved so much this season, and their culture, I think, just completely changed. And because of their culture changing this season, that could lead to this exact Celtics team being so good for years to come. So, shout out to Ime Udoka, you know, all the veterans in the locker room, like Smart and Horford, for example. Those aren't the only guys, but of course, they are two of the older guys on the team. Not older, but two of the more experienced, longer tenured Celtics. Of course, Horford, he was on he was played for Boston for what? Like two or three seasons? And then he was he signed with Philly, then OKC. And yeah, now he's back with the Celtics. So he's not very long tenured, but smart is. Y'all know what I mean, man. Horford's got so much experience. Goat Larry said, CP the GOAT, I was down 21. Going to the half and I won by five. Like I said, Larry, don't give up. Don't give up. Hey, power within deluxe. Let's see what we got. Ashmel said, Dwight Howard needed another move in the post. He worked with Akeem, but it just didn't stick. Ashmel, you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. You see, I'm a fan of Dwight Howard. You know, he was a very good, you know, defender, rebounder, post scorer, putback guy, but yeah, he never had many post moves. If he would have had more moves, would have really helped him out. Jerry Can said, what's your opinion on the Wiggins card? Really good dark matter. Great shooting, great defense, great dunking, handling. Yeah, Wiggins, dark matter is a beast. Good shot. T.I. said, what if MJ didn't retire in 1993? I've heard some theories, some conspiracies, T.I., that MJ, he wasn't actually retiring because he got caught up with like gambling stuff and sports. And of course, we've seen guys, you know, get banned for entire seasons in other sports leagues because of betting on sporting events and like gambling. So I've seen conspiracies that say that Michael Jordan, you know, didn't actually retire in 1993 and that he was kind of forced out of the NBA because he was like betting on games and like gambling and he wasn't supposed to be doing that. Do I believe that conspiracy? Not really, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I do think that if Jordan didn't retire in 93, the Bulls could have won in 94 and 95. At the same time though, at the same time, like I said earlier, the Bulls, they could never guard Elijah one. Like he was such a tough matchup for them. And in the regular season, they just couldn't beat Hakeem. Of course, the playoffs is different. And we don't know how the Bulls would have adjusted in the playoffs, but I do think the Bulls could have won 94 and 95 if Jordan wouldn't have retired. They could have. At the same time though, if they did win in 94 and 95, would that have influenced the outcome of the finals in 96, 97, and 98? Because there's gotta be a lot of burnout that comes with winning four or five championships in a row. You know what I mean? So like, you never know. In 94 or 95, if Jordan wouldn't have retired, maybe he could have gotten injured in the 94 or 95 season. Maybe they would have had to trade somebody away Maybe they would have been burnt out after winning five championships in a row. We're never going to know. We're never going to know. So all we can do is speculate. Would they have won eight in a row? They might not have even made it to five in a row. Like, we'll never know. Blake said one more game for Ingram. Then I'm watching Hustle. Hey, 
great movie. You are not gonna regret watching it. I might watch it again. It's so good. Damon said Chris Middleton was in the Hustle movie. They had so many players in the Hustle movie. Of course, Anthony Edwards, Juan Hernan Gomez, but they also had like Tobias Harris, Seth Curry, Middleton, Trey Young, Clarkson, Aaron Gordon, and so many more. I mean, I haven't even scratched the surface. They had Dirk, Luca. Luca's scene was hilarious. Great movie. Winter Slat said, do I have the Dark Matter Drew Holiday? You mean, do I have the Dark Matter Drew Holiday? I do. I think he's really good. Not very tall, but, you know, great defensively, great handles, super fast jump shot. I'm a fan of that Dark Matter Drew Holiday. B. Diddy said the Bulls couldn't cover Shaq, and Hakeem destroyed Shaq. The Rockets were 6-2. Or seven and one that year versus the Bulls. Let's be honest, the Bulls wouldn't have won eight in a row. Yeah, I don't think they would have either, man. I mean, of course, people love to say that, you know, since they won in 91, 92, 93, and then they won in 96, 97, 98, people love to say the Bulls would have won eight in a row. But like, one season, the results of one season can have such an influence on the next season. And, you know, teams change based on the things that happen during the course of a season. So if Jordan would have played in that 94 season and 95, I mean, the results of the season would have been, you know, different regardless. Now, I don't know if they would have won, you know, like five or six in a row still. We'll never know. Hey, what's good, CP5? Welcome to the stream. Cal says, I've seen it twice. I've seen it once. It was so good. You know, good humor. I love good basketball in movies. Really good cinematography. You know, great casting. It was just a great movie. Alex said, would the Rockets have played in the finals? I want to say the Rockets would have still made it to the finals. I mean, in the 94 season, the Rockets were so dominant. Yeah, the Rockets were super dominant in 94. In 95, though, remember, they got off to such a bad start that season. And then they had to trade for Clyde Drexler. And, you know, I'm not sure if Michael Jordan being in the NBA would have had an influence on Clyde Drexler still being traded or the Rockets still starting off bad that season. I mean, they didn't play in the same conference, the Bulls and the Rockets, so... I mean... I want to say the Rockets would have still made it, but like I said, we don't know that for sure. Changing one thing in history, going back in time and changing one or two small little things, it could drastically change the future. Drastically. Alton says the 2013 draft was the worst draft of all time. I mean, I wouldn't say the worst draft, but maybe the worst number one pick. I mean, come on. Giannis was in that draft. Oladipo was in that draft. I mean, there are some really high quality players that were drafted in 2013. It's just that they went lower in the draft instead of going higher. Let me look up the 2013 draft. Of course, there were a fair share of busts in the draft. I mean, Nerlens Noel, Cody Zeller, Alex Len all went in the lottery, but. Steven Adams, pretty solid player. Giannis, very solid. But yeah, I wouldn't say it's the worst draft ever. I mean, Rudy Gobert was drafted that year, number 27th. And I mean, he became a multi-time all-star and defensive player of the year. There's also a bunch of solid role players in the second round. But of course, I wouldn't say there are any, you know, insanely good star players who were taken outside of Giannis. Let me see if, see if I missed anybody. Dennis Schroeder, number 17, quality player. CJ McCollum, number 10, another very quality player. I mean, he hasn't been an all-star yet, but he went number 10, and he's had some you know great seasons scoring the ball, playing alongside Dame, and now he's the main guy in New Orleans, aside from Zion and Ingram. So, yeah. 
2013 drafts, really not that bad, but even though a lot of these guys turned out to be pretty solid role players, I'd say, of course, Giannis is the main guy from this draft, along with Gobert. And, eh, see, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, he went number eight. He was expected to be, like, a really good player, and he's still pretty good. I mean, he's a solid role player, you know, plays great defense, very good shooting. KCP's good, but not great. Yeah, good, but not great. I mean, Schroeder, good, but not great. Cody Zeller, decent career, nothing amazing, didn't play much this past season. Steven Adams, you know, good but not a great career, but great glue guy, amazing glue guy, great defense, good screen setting, great leadership. Adams, good pick. Um, Kelly Olynyk, see, not a star, not a superstar type guy, but had some very good seasons scoring the ball, you know, good three-point shooting and floor spacing, good defense. A solid piece, you know, but never a star, like some people might have expected him to become. Carter Williams, bit of a bust. Alex Len, kind of a bust, but still in the NBA, you know, still playing decent minutes off the bench for some teams. Not a great draft, not the worst, I don't think. Good shot. Gotta make that. Hey, what's up, Gerard? Welcome to the stream. Kaysen said, do you like chicken nuggets? Yes, I do. Cheese It says, I got a full invincible starting five. Nice. Also, welcome to the stream, Cheese It. I'm sorry I got to your message late, but I've been talking about basketball a lot. Ag Swag said, just subscribed. And it's AGS Swag. Got you. So it's AGS Swag, not Ags Swag. I'll call you Swag. I think that's a lot easier than saying the entire name. Either way, man, thank you so much for the sub. And welcome to Doc Nation, my man. Sir Gerg said, hey Doc, do you know why it's not letting me get the win in the conference finals challenges for the Warriors? It says you need to win by nine points or more, and I always win by more than nine points. I mean, you gotta use, um... 13 Warriors players, right? Let's see. Let's take a look. Completed, lifetime agendas, conference finals. Let's see. Where do we go? You gotta use 13 Warriors players by nine points or more. And of course, you gotta make sure they all play for the Warriors. You gotta make sure none of them are heroes. Alton said, 2003 by far, the best draft of all time? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, okay, Alex said, which is better, 2003 or 1984? Both really good drafts. Ugh, that's a tough one. I gotta go 2003. Gotta go 2003. I mean, you got the king number one. Then again, you had Elijah one number one in 84, and then Jordan number three. But nah, man, I mean, the top five in 2003 was pretty great. Of course, there's Darko Milicic, who went number two, but Carmelo number three, and then of course Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, and then I think there were some other pretty good players drafted in that first round too. Of course, Chris Kamen, I think, was number six. Was Kirk Heinrich also in that draft? Let me look up the 2000 NBA draft. There was Darko Milicic, of course, at number two. Yeah, Kirk Heinrich, number seven. Jarvis Hayes, number 10. Ridnauer, number 14. Like, once again, you see some solid role players in the first round. David West was very good at number 18. Pavlovich was solid. Dante Jones had a solid career. Boris Diaw had a pretty good career, too. Barbosa was solid. Delfino, Kendrick Perkins. There are some pretty good names here. Um, Nick Collison, TJ Ford, yeah, he was alright. Luke Walton in the second round. Steve Blake had a pretty long career. I'm seeing guys who had pretty long careers as pretty solid contributors for pretty good teams. I gotta say, 2003 is pretty good. Of course, 84 is also great, 
but I gotta see the other guys who were drafted in 84. I knew 2003 was good. There are so many good role players and like bench guys, glue guys right here. And yeah, I gotta take a quick look at 84 and see if I can find those same high quality names. Let's look up the 1984 NBA draft. Of course, we all know the big big names. We all know the big guns in the draft. Of course, Elijah won, Jordan, Barkley at five. But let's look at some of the other guys in the draft. Let's look at some of the other guys. Alvin Robertson, pretty underrated guy. He played, I want to say he played for a decade, but I could be wrong. Of course, Sam Bowie, number two. Sam Perkins, he had a nice long career at number four. Of course, Stockton, I think he was drafted 15th. I gotta scroll down a little bit, but I'm pretty sure Stockton's right up there at number 15. Kevin Willis, number 11, solid career. Yeah, Stockton, number 16. Earl Jones, Michael Young. Pretty solid draft class. Ron Anderson, Danny Young, Steve Coulter. Hmm. See, I don't know these guys as well as I know the guys from the 2003 draft. But of course, I mean, you got Stockton, who wasn't even picked in the top 15. You got Jordan, Barkley, and Elijah one. Sam Perkins, never quite a superstar, but still a very solid player. I still got to go 2003, but it's hard for me to pick because I don't know this draft class in 84 as well as I know the one from 2003. Because in 2003, even the super obscure like role players, I know their names. I know pretty much everybody in that draft, but I can't say the same about 1984. Hey, what's good, Joshua Pearson? Welcome to the stream, my man. C Tech said, never forget, Kyle Corver was in the second round of 2003. I don't think I realized that. 2003. Yeah, Corver. Very solid career. Never a superstar, but still a very good player. FBI said 96 is possibly the best one. The 96 draft was absolutely stacked. Let's go ahead and read through it. Of course, that was the Kobe Bryant draft. That was the Iverson draft. Let me pull it up right after... Let me, let me pull it up right now. Yeah, Allen Iverson... Really good career, obviously. Marcus Canby, you know, not a superstar player, but a solid center for nearly two decades. Got to give him his flowers. Got to give him his credit. Marcus Canby was really good. At number five, we had Ray Allen. Stefan Marbury, number four. Sharif Abdurrahim, number three. Antoine Walker, number six. Kerry Kittles. Eric Dampier, kind of mid, but that's a pretty good top ten right there, man. Pretty solid top 10. Even though the main superstar guys were Iverson at 1, you know, Ray Allen at 5. Marbury could have been a superstar, never quite got to that level. But then you got Kobe at 13. You got Stojakovic, who was one of the best shooters ever, at number 14, I think. Yeah, Stojakovic 14. Nash, 15. Jermaine O'Neal, 17. Tony Delk, 16. He had a solid career. Played for 10 seasons. You got Zydronas Ilgauskas at 20. Two-time All-Star. All-time great Cavalier. You got Derek Fisher at 24. Jerome Williams at 26. Walter McCarty. He played for a decade. Man, that 96 draft is solid. I wouldn't say it's like as star-studded, like as top-heavy as like other drafts. But you see a lot of these guys who ended up being great role players, glue guys. 1996 could very well be the best draft of all time. It could be. Some of these guys like Ogalskis and Jermaine O'Neal, I forgot they were selected in 2000, I mean 1996. 96 draft class, loaded. On your left said, who's going to win finals and finals MVP? I'm going Warriors and Steph Curry. My pick from the very beginning. 
B Diddy said TJ Ford was so good but had that yeah I'm pretty sure it was a spinal problem Ford was solid but his career did kind of get cut short Joshua said I liked that NBA Jersey trivia video you posted on Twitter I appreciate that Joshua man I'm posting another one of those on Friday probably on my TikTok. Those videos are hilarious. And look at this. We got a brand new subscriber. Purple Espion Jenny C. Thank you so much for the sub. Man, we're fouling. Welcome a Doc Nation Espion. A Pokemon fan, I see. Case and said, what's good? I just graduated sixth grade. Top of my class, yes sir. That's a big dub. I didn't know they count top of your class all the way in sixth grade, but I'm proud of you and that's great. I'm happy for you. Cal said, is Opal Luca, Opal Zion, and Ruby Taco good for dunks only? Hmm. Honestly, I say go and get Pink Diamond Walter Davis. Go get Pink Diamond Kuminga from the auction house. Those two guys are really, really good for dunks only on current gen and next gen. Blake said, what made you do YouTube? Eh, long story, man. It's just, I've always enjoyed playing video games and I got to a certain point where I was like, let me start making content for the games just for fun. I didn't think it was going to stick for so long. I didn't think I would have so much fun doing it for so long. Ref said, first time viewer here. Welcome to the stream, Ref. Welcome to the stream, my man. Enjoy it. Talk to me in the chat as much as you want. And yeah. I hope you're enjoying the vibes today, Ref. Alright. FSU fan said, how many games left? I haven't kept count, so honestly, I have no idea. But we're done playing Triple Threat online. All we gotta do is play offline, so... Right after this game's over, I'll check how many games we have left. I got you. Because I'm curious, too. I seriously have no idea how many games we got left. C-Tech said... YouTube unsubbed me for some reason. Yeah, I was about to say that caught me off guard. I appreciate you subscribing again, C Tech. But that confused me. I was like, C Tech, he's already subbed. I appreciate you resubbing though, C Tech. And also, Brayden Lyons, thank you so much for the sub. You guys be like Brayden, be like C Tech. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We're growing every single day. And this should be a three. Ugh. Blake said you're doing a great job. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, we've grown a lot in just a few years of doing this. I've been getting better and better at it. And of course, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Let's do this. Let's win this game. Then we can finally check how many games we have left because I want to say we've played over 20 no I want to say we've played like at least 18 or 19 like we've really been on this triple threat grind for a while now we finished up triple threat online in like one and a half hours yes yeah, so we've been playing offline for a little over an hour 10 minutes now let's hit this shot and let's check how many games we have left C-Tech says, I have a power within weight up for 20k and a shack up for 55k. Not bad. Not bad at all. We gotta check, man. We gotta see how many games we have left. I've just been sitting here talking about basketball, talking about the draft. I have not kept count of how many games we have left. Seven games left. Whew. We've been winning these games super fast. Seven games to go, 23 games down. In a little bit over one hour, 
23 wins is great. All right, let's do this. Hey, what's up, Kyle? Welcome to the stream. C Tech said Premier Packs were a dub. Facts. And this game should be a pretty easy dub right here, as long as we're hitting our shots. Blake said, is Kobe the greatest Laker? Oh, man, that's so tough. That is so tough. Because all time, I have Magic ahead of Kobe. But, man, Kobe, I just feel like his impact on basketball, his impact on not only Lakers basketball, but also the world. I gotta say Kobe's the greatest Laker. And, of course, as a player, I gotta say he's more skilled than Magic Johnson. Of course, Magic Johnson, I got him as a top five player of all time. I think Kobe's like no lower than top seven, even though I do think he's like number five all time. In terms of pure skill and raw talent and ability and work ethic, I think Kobe could be pound for pound the best. But at the same time, I feel like, of course, Magic, five championships, he won a bunch of MVPs. You know, he really did save the NBA when they were losing money in the 80s. His rivalry with the Celtics and Bird was huge for the NBA. Kobe, I gotta say he's the greater Laker though, just my opinion. You guys feel free to agree or disagree, but you know, he was great for the Lakers with Shaq. And then he was able to win two championships without him. Of course, he had help of like, no doubt about that, but... Just his work ethic and how hard that he worked at improving himself and, you know, adding things to his game. Some people call Kobe like a copy of Michael Jordan. But when you really look at Kobe's highlights versus Jordan's, I mean, come on. Some things that Kobe does and did, Jordan never did. I mean, Jordan was hitting tough shots, no doubt. And he had some amazing athleticism, amazing dunks. You know, contested shot making. I feel like Kobe, when you watch his highlights, he just took that to a whole different level. And of course, Jordan, he wasn't doing me like Kobe was. He wasn't hitting turnaround left-handed threes like Kobe, or, you know, hitting those double clutch, double pump, contested threes like Kobe was. Kobe was insane. He was absolutely insane. Greater than Jordan? Nah. But better? I feel like you could make an argument. I would love to see those guys play one-on-one. -on -one. I would absolutely... Oh, I'd pay to see that. No question. Stax said, how many years have you been playing? I first started playing 2K when I was in 7th grade. That was 12. I didn't really get into it until like 2K 18 and 19 though. And I didn't start making content until 2K 19 and 20. Jason said, just got invincible. Anthony Edwards, worth it for sure. Yes, sir. I like the card. I don't love his jump shot, though. Of course, the jump shot is not the end-all, be-all of all cards. Like, just because I'm not a fan of a jump shot doesn't mean a card is bad. And his jumper's really not bad. It's just not as fast as I was hoping. But nah, man. Great handles. Great defense. Really good athleticism. He can dunk all over you. You know, really good leaner jump shooter. And he's, he's fun. He's fun. It's just I have so many good shooting guards and small forwards already that it's so tough to find a place for Edwards on my team. Even though he's so good. Tough. Blake said, I agree. Mamba mentality, yes sir. Gotta love that Mamba mentality. Gunner says, hopefully you get Dennis Johnson. I'm gonna start grinding for him too, yes sir. Good luck to you, Gunner. I don't think you need luck. I think you got this, but I hope you can get through those TTO games fast, just like I did. Good shot. Alton said, do you think T-Mac's underrated? Uh, I mean, T-Mac, I feel like he's rated pretty properly. I mean, of course, he had a year or two where 
He could have won MVP. He was an unstoppable scorer, but he could never make it out the first round as the best player on his team. And he just had so much problems with injuries. Like, he had so much injury trouble, so many injury problems. If he could have stayed healthy, then he could have had an all-time sort of NBA career. But just, he couldn't stay healthy. And health and longevity is a big factor as to why he didn't make the top 75. A healthy T-Mac for his entire career definitely makes the list. And probably wins the championship too. Possibly with the Rockets in like 2000, in the late 2000s, or with the Magic in the early 2000s. But man, health, it was a big factor to why he didn't make the top 75. And it's the same thing for Grant Hill. You know, Grant Hill and T-Mac together, fully healthy for all those seasons. Eventually, I think they get it right and win a championship. But injuries, man, injuries. Hey, what's up, Healthy Gaming? Welcome to the stream. My man Healthy said, hope you're well. I'm very well, man. Very good stream today. It's been a lot of fun so far. And we are getting kind of close to the end of it, man. We are so close to getting Dark Matter Dennis Johnson. So, you arrived at a pretty good time. John says, if I comment my lineup and MT amount, would you be able to give me your opinion on what I should change? Uh, John, send me a message on Instagram or Twitter. Yeah, send me a message there, and I can give you like a lot more of a explanation. I can give you a more in-depth, detailed analysis. My Instagram is cpthedoc, and my Twitter is cpthedoc334. Cal says, I'm doing my offline games right now. You and me both. You and me both. Lil Slime said, how many offline games have you played? 25 offline games down, 5 to go. This should be a quick dub, man. We're being guarded by Killian Hayes. This should be a quick dub. Do you think Giannis will be top 30 by the end of his career? I mean, I think he could be top 10 by the end of his career. I mean, come on. He already has a championship, multiple MVPs, defensive player of the year. Is like, I mean, so many all-star selections, all NBA, all defense. And he's not even 30. Not even 30. So, I don't think he could, could just be top 30. He could be top 10. I mean, come on, a 6 foot 11 specimen. A 6 foot 11, like, monster athlete who can dunk on you, dribble, you know, make great passes, make mid range shots. He's just so dominant. He can definitely be top 10, I think, if he stays healthy. Ooh, bad release. What's up, Richie D? Welcome to the stream. Snipe said, do you think we'll get more spotlight sims? Maybe. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. I mean, remember, in NBA 2K20, we got spotlight sims for Goat Larry Bird and Goat Steph Curry. Last year, we got spotlight sims for Invincible Bill Russell and Invincible Taco Fall. So maybe we get one more set of Spotlight Sims, but I would not bet on that. I wouldn't count on it. Hey, what's up, Jermarcus? Welcome to the stream. I haven't really been playing 2K lately. I understand that. I appreciate you dropping by the stream, though, Jermarcus. Also, what is up, Richie D? And what's up, Kenny? L. Howard says, I'm level 30 this season. Do you think I can reach 40? I haven't played much because I've had a lot of class. Do you think I can? L. Howard, if you have time to play, you'll definitely get level 40, but having time is a pretty important thing. It's a time-consuming grind. If you have, like, you know, a few days off from school where you can just, you know, sit down and grind the game for hours and hours, you'll definitely get 40, but yeah, it's all about how much time you have. There's a lot more XP that 2K is going to give us as the season goes on, but yeah, having time is very important too. 
C-Tech said, use the dunk meter on all shots next game. It's a little bit too late for that since I'm shooting threes, but I'll think about next game. Maybe next game, C-Tech. I like shooting all threes though because it gets the game done so fast. And you guys know, I like getting through these offline games as fast as I can. These offline games are just so tedious, so boring to sit through. I always make it a challenge to just, you know, zoom through them as fast as possible. Blake said who's better, Kareem or Wilt? Gotta go Kareem. Gotta go with Kareem. Of course, Wilt, I mean, numbers-wise, I mean, he has pretty much every NBA player beat. But in head-to-head -head matchups, Kareem did, you know, win most of, most of those matchups, even though Wilt held his own. And at his peak, he was so dominant. I'd say that Wilt is the better athlete, but Kareem, the better basketball player. Joshua says you gotta make time. Facts. If you can make time for yourself to get on the game and grind it for hours, you can definitely get 40 Howard for sure. Alton said Kareem only had the sky hook. He was also an excellent mid-range shooter. You know, great dunker, great shot blocker. Of course, that was his signature move, but Kareem didn't only have the sky hook. Yeah, he had way more than just the sky hook. He had a mid-range shot, a post fadeaway. Saying Kareem only has a post hook is like saying LeBron only has that move where he stares at the ball and then steps back. That's like saying Michael Jordan only has a mid-range shot or a free-throw line dunk. He definitely didn't only have the sky hook. Hey, what's up, Micah? Welcome to the stream. Also, what's up, DJ? Three games to go, ladies and gentlemen. This might be the first time where I actually have to play all 30 games to get the exchange player. Micah said, what's up, Doc? Sorry I'm late. It's all good, Micah. Cam says, I'm level 37, but I'm having a hard time getting XP. I mean, we get new XP every week. We get so much XP every single week. We get a ton of XP on Fridays with the new packs. We get XP on Tuesdays with the new packs. We get week one, week two, week three challenges, you know, dropped in the game every single week. We get weekend warrior challenges. We get extra XP for the players who are on the triple threat boards and the wheel spins on weekends. Like, there's so much XP available. We also get XP every week that you can finish for a free Hall of Fame badge. Like, there's so much XP in the game. And there's so much XP that 2K is yet to drop yet. So, if I were you, I wouldn't worry about it. I really wouldn't. Ryan says, if you try Danny Granger, I have not, but I've heard he's really, really good. I've heard the man's a beast. And he's so cheap, too, on the auction house, it's unbelievable. And the fact that he can play point guard, unbelievable. Dub said, how many games you got left? We have three games to go, including this one. This should be a win. Should be. That'd be so disappointing if I lose this game. L. Howard said, is Dennis a good card? Good, but not great. I wouldn't say he's top tier for the point guard position, no. But he is free, and all you gotta do to get him is play some triple threat. Elza says, I'm Howard, just changed my name. I don't know if you remember me. I remember Elza better than I remember L. Howard Stark. That name change caught me off guard. Bad shot. Thought I was gonna miss that. Joshua says, are the fire and unicorn balls worth it? Honestly, I don't know. I just got the fireball and unicorn ball this stream. And the only reason why I'm using it is because the chat wanted me to. I mean, personally, I think it's a lot of MT to spend just for a basketball. 
But, I mean, it looks cool. The little trail the ball leaves, it's pretty cool. Worth it? That's for you to decide. Blake said who's better, Shaq or Hakeem. I mean, in their head-to-head -head matchups with, you know, Hakeem in his prime and Shaq, even though Shaq was younger, in their head-to-head -head matchups, Hakeem got the better of Shaq. But of course, you know, 2000 Shaq was different than 1994 Shaq and 1995 Shaq. So I don't know. I think I, I gotta go with, defensively, I gotta go Elijah one. Offensively, I think, I don't know, man, that's so tough. Elijah one had a bigger bag on offense. He had little mid-range jump shots, hook shots, all those pump fakes. I might have to go Elijah one on offense too, but Shaq was just a diesel who could literally body anybody. I might have to go Shaq overall. That's so tough. That's such a tough one. I mean, there are people out there who believe that Elijah one is the best center of all time over Kareem, over Will. I don't believe that. I think Kareem's the best. And I think I got to take, man, I think I got to take Elijah one all time over Shaq. But that's so tough. It's such a tough comparison. Because we didn't get to see both guys at their peaks playing versus each other. We got to see Hakeem get the best of Shaq on certain occasions, but that was mostly when Shaq was younger. Is collector level Dirk worth it? Hmm. I've heard he's not that great, but of course getting every single Hall of Fame badge in the game is definitely worth it. Definitely. And you get every single Hall of Fame badge once you get level 40. I mean, 4,000 cards. I think that's worth it. But Dirk himself, I've heard he's really not. Elza said, is Doc saying, we in Minnesota now? I said it a few times earlier, but I can say it again later. Off the Hezzy said, what do you think about the hero card designs? Some of them, uh, some of them are pretty cool. Some of them are kind of trash. I wouldn't say trash, but just weird looking. I think that the, the hero D Wade, pretty cool. Um, hero Steph Curry, pretty cool too. But Giannis, like his finger's broken in his hero card, like... Why does his pinky look like that? And then Kobe, why is his face so wide? And then for who else? I'm trying to think of other weird designs. For LeBron, why is there a dude behind him wearing a diaper? Like some of the designs are pretty cool, but some of them are just like, why does it look like that? I will say the majority of them are pretty cool. And, um, I will say, all of the hero challengers, like, you know, Halliburton, RJ Barrett, Manute Bull, they're pretty cool too. The majority of them are pretty cool, but a lot of them I've seen are also just so weird looking. I mean, real quick, we could take a look at the heroes and we can see which ones look cool and which one just looks kind of weird. Because a lot of them have weird little things about them. Yeah, we have one more game left to play, but before we play that final game, let's take a quick look at some of these hero cards. My collection, premium, return of heroes. Let's take a quick look. The Durant, you know, I think the Durant's kind of cool. I mean, he's ugly, but come on, that's just his actual face. He can't really help it. Durant's okay. Durant's fine. Okay, Kareem is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool one, man. He's got the goggles on, the afro, and he's got the light shining out of his... That's pretty cool. That is very cool. Anthony Davis. Uh, I'm not a fan. I mean, first of all, where's the unibrow? I mean, come on. The man's got to have a unibrow. It just doesn't look right without one. Sean Kemp, very cool. 
Really, really good design. All right, KG. Oh, okay, come on. The KG kind of sucks. The KG one, I'm not a big fan of. It's like he's a Pokemon. He looks like a Venusaur using Hyper Beam. That just, come on. I don't think I have to say more. I think that's just one of the funny ones I was talking about earlier. Giannis, at first sight, looks pretty good, but like, look at his pinky finger. Look at his pinky. His pinky is, I don't think it's supposed to be bent that way, if you look very closely. Everything else looks fine, but come on. Gotta fix up that finger. Kobe, I'm overall happy with it. It doesn't look that bad, but look how wide his face is. I don't think Kobe, at his peak weight, was ever, his face was never that big. So I wish his face was thinner. Also, I mean, I know Kobe was bald, but like, ugh, not a fan of the card art. Jordan's pretty cool. There's not much there, but Jordan's pretty cool. I can live with that. LeBron would be a lot cooler if he didn't have, you know, a nearly naked man behind him. I mean, look, that's the guy's leg right there. And you can, like, come on. LeBron's, like, right next to it, like, like, come on, man. That would look a lot cooler if that leg and diaper wasn't behind him. Dwayne Wade, I think, is very cool. Really good card art. Can't complain about that. Elijah one. Uh, I mean, some guys might think that looks cool. But like, uh, the fire eyes, not a huge fan. It could be worse. It could be worse. But if you take away the jersey number and take away Houston, some people might not know that's even Elijah one. So Elijah one's cool. But yeah, it doesn't look that great in my opinion. Curry's very cool. This Curry looks really good. I mean, Splash Brother making it splash. You got the puddles. And that looks like curry. Curry, good. Pau Gasol, you know what? Also good. I mean, really good face design. Looks just like him. Lakers jersey and the Matador cape. Looks pretty cool. I like that. Pau Gasol's is good. And then, of course, we got three more mystery players before we find out who the big prize is. All right, guys. Final game of the stream right there. That was a brief intermission. That was our hero card analysis. Once this game's over, we get Dennis Johnson. If we win, if we win. Jeremiah said, Kobe looks like James Coney. C-Tech said, Kevin Garnett, use Hyper Beam. Like I'm telling you, Kevin Garnett in that hero picture looks like a Venusaur about to use Hyper Beam. It's crazy. D said, it looks like Hakeem is taking a deuce. It looks like he's really struggling to get that shit out, man. It really does. He's like, Ugh, and his eyes are on fire. That is what it looks like. Native said, Shobi Bean. Yeah, like, why did they make Kobe's face look so chunky, man? Looks like, you know, the Squidward, the good looking Squidward. Young cheez -It said, can you show us your team? Maybe after this game, I got you. Remind me after this game, and I got you. Hey, what's up, Freebase? Welcome to the stream, my man. Welcome to the stream, Freebase. You made it just in time for the final game. The finale. Good shot. Yeah, man. Three more three-pointers, and we're done. Let's get a stop on defense. Right here. Hey. And that should be a three. I gotta green it, though. With takeover, gotta green that. Jeremiah said how many games left? Um, about half a game left. Actually, a little less than half. Like, 0.27 games left. 
Keith says I pulled Dark Matter Kobe in an all-star pack in the token market. I didn't know there were all-star packs in the token market. That's actually pretty cool. I might have to spend a bunch of tokens on those and see what I get. Free base said let's effing go. I need to see if he's as good as Dark Matter McAdoo. Free base? I don't think so, man. I hate to say it because I haven't even used him yet, but he has like an 83 point shot. He's missing so many badges. I guess we'll try out his jump shot, but I've been seeing a lot of guys say he's kind of mid. He's kind of mid. So let's go ahead and get him. We'll check him out. I'm probably not going to do his challenge, but I'll at least, you know, go into shoot around and play around a little bit with his jump shot and whatnot, but I've heard he's not great. Either way, let's get this exchange for him. I forgot to open the pack. There we go. Blake said, just got Ingram. About to watch Hustle. Yes, sir. Congrats on Ingram. Ingram's so tough to get. Not because the games are hard, but because they're so time-consuming. Native said CP's rocking out today. Yes, sir. Another Dark Matter added to the collection. Dennis Johnson. But everyone's saying he's not that good, unfortunately. We'll give him a try. Like, we'll take him and shoot around, dribble around a bit. You know, see if he's quick off the dribble. You know, drive to the rim. Test out the dunk packages and whatnot. I've heard he could be better. But we'll still give him a try no matter what. Hey, what's up, Cristiano? Welcome to the stream, my man. Dennis Johnson. I'm not going to do the pose yet. But... Let's go ahead and toss him on the bench and take a look at him. Take a quick little look at Dennis Johnson. Dennis is six foot four, so not bad height for the point guard position. He's actually the same height as Gary Payton. So yeah, Gary Payton and Dennis Johnson, both six foot four, 180 pounds. You know, great defense from both guys, great offense as well. Let's take a look at his stats. 83 point shot is a little bit sus but 95 driving dunk is great really good mid-range great layup 98 ball handles top tier you know good passing excellent perimeter defense and 92 interior for a point guard is great as well 97 speed and speed with ball 36 hall of fames you know acrobat ankle breaker pickpocket defensively he has it all intimidator clamps pick dodger post lockdown Lucky seven, handles for days, space creator, quick first step. What he's missing is the shooting badges. Notice how there are barely any Hall of Fame shooting badges here, man. No Limitless, no Chef. Now there is lucky number seven. That's pretty much it though. And then everything else is gold. Catch and shoot, post spin technician, rim protectors on gold, blinders on gold, but no limitless spot up yeah no limitless there's tight handles dead eye sniper stop and pop corner specialist doesn't have it circus threes doesn't have it limitless chef clutch shooter volume shooter he's missing all the shooting badges but yeah we'll go try him out anyway test out the jumper but unless you really want to badge out you know dennis johnson with Hall of Fame shoot like shooting badges. I'd say he's not super worth it, but we'll give him a try. We'll give him a chance. First shot, late. Let's put our sliders on Hall of Fame. And yeah, let's try out the jumper. It's a quick jump shot, but keep in mind, no limitless. And his jumper, he does shoot it quickly. He releases it at the very top of his jump. Let's try him off the dribble. Let's see if he can, you know, move directions fast. Move from one side to another fast. Stop and go. I don't love that he doesn't have Limitless. Of course, he can dribble quick. You guys can see. He's got a nice quick dribble package, but 
I just don't love that he doesn't have Limitless. He doesn't have all these other shooting badges that are pretty important. His shot's pretty easy once you get a feel for it. And if you have the right coach, and if you have, you know, the right shoes, then his three-pointer gets up to like a 90, which is pretty good. And if you give him Limitless, then he'll be even better. His jump shot's already pretty good. This is on Hall of Fame difficulty I'm greening these shots with, but yeah, I don't love that he can't shoot very well from far behind the line. I don't love that he doesn't have Chef or Limitless. If you don't green it, he will most likely miss a shot from like right here, unless you green it because he doesn't have Limitless, not even on gold. So notice how I'm just a few steps behind the three point line. And if I don't green, it's pretty much a guaranteed miss. So yeah, keep that in mind when you go for this card. He can green shots from back here, but if he doesn't, it's pretty much a guaranteed miss unless you badge him up. His regular jump shot's not bad. He shoots it pretty fast. He releases the ball at the very top of his jump. I mean, it's a pretty smooth jump shot. He can dribble back and forth as well. He's pretty quick off the dribble. He can probably make leaners, you know, pretty efficiently, but I don't know. At the end of the day, if you badge out Dennis Johnson, he could be pretty good for sure. I mean, notice how we're knocking down the jump shot. He can move quickly side to side. Let's green one more shot and then we'll probably call it a day. Pretty good, but eh, not great. What's up, Nicholas? Welcome to the stream. Poopy doggy. We're about to end the stream right here, guys. It was a nice little three plus hour grind. We got Dennis Johnson. And we're adding him to our bench right here, but I don't think I'll actually play online with him. I think I'll use Lance Stevenson as my third string point guard. Lance Stevenson as my third string point guard. Giddy at the, you know, six man spot. Oscar Robertson still starting. We got ourselves a pretty good squad, man. And I'm slowly working my way back up to a million MT. You guys are gonna see how I make some pretty good MT in my video coming on Friday. I'm so excited for it. Ah, oh, Puff, you did miss the stream, my man. Ah, oh, Puff, you're a little bit late, but I appreciate you dropping by regardless. It's good to have you in the stream. Make sure you drop a like and whatnot before we end it. We have 137 people in here still, which I think is enough for a raid, so let's see if there's anybody live on YouTube right now. If any of the boys are live, I'm definitely gonna raid them. Let's see who's live. Uh, nobody's live. My boy Mood. He literally ended his stream two minutes ago. <sighs> That's tough. New Rockstars is live. Um, the MLB is live. But yeah, Mood just ended. DBG posted a video on his second channel too. <sighs> None of the boys are live, so... I think we'll go ahead and end this stream right here, since ain't nobody live. Yo boy Rich, Solomand, Miami, Puff, everybody else is still in the stream, John17, Native, Kyle, did I call you Puff Miami? I'm so sorry. I do need to get my eyes checked. Yeah, C-Tech, Solomand, Kenny, everybody who's still in here, thank you so much for coming by. It was a great stream. I hate that none of my boys are live right now, but hey, we'll be live again sometime soon. Y6, Monkey, DJ, Poopy Doggy, TFC, everybody else is still hanging around. Turn on those notifications just in case I stream tomorrow, and I'm definitely posting a video Friday, so stay tuned. I'm looking forward to seeing y'all there.